Hello, people of the world and beyond. People of the universe who are watching and the multi-dimensional uh, multiverse. Hello to everybody. Hello, God. What up? Uh, today is our very last episode of the year in studio. That's crazy. All of our hard work uh, and planning is culminating together on Sunday for our huge final show of the year, the Steamies, which is going to be such a show. It's going to be a day to remember, and it's going to be sexiest YouTube sexiest night of the year. Sexiest. sexiest. Uh, it, it, it's going to be such a fun show. It's going to be so great. The guys, the crew have put in so much dang work into this thing. It is going to, um, I got to say, I'm. Imp I, it's very impressive, I think, what we put together. Well, let's see first, but. I just hope Sam makes it alive. Like Sam has every, been going nuts. Every day something is broken. Her oh, yeah, shoulder, she, her, finger. her finger. Did we talk about the finger thing on the show? Yeah, oh, yeah. she uh -huh. came out and was like, I have my finger, oh, and I have my finger a, in my pocket. And then worst of all, this today she had a spray tanning uh, accident. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was that bad, but. No, no. she just hasn't washed it off She yet, got to wash it off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's jarring at first, but then you glow. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> It's just blackface for half a day. <laughs> it's not. Just half a day. <laughs> it's. I know. I'm kidding. It's not. She's not even close to blackface. <laughs> not even close. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Gamer Subs. Thank you to them. Also, this episode is sponsored by Ducky. Here's our new Yorkie puppy. He is so sweet. Ducky! So cute. This is his first time in the studio. He was born August 22, 22. which makes him about. What's today? I was almost four months. Almost four months. Oh, we got a ducky sound. Nice. Guy. And he's got to be the cutest, the cutest puppy of all time. He is. His face is so freaking cute. And he's just. He's such a great dog so far. I mean, he's got mm -hmm. such a great temperament. Um, he's not fussy. He's just really happy. <laughs> Which bothers Alfredo. Oh. <laughs> yes. Alfredo is being such a grouch. <laughs> and he just wants to play and be with Alfredo. It's all he wants. He I loves Alfredo. Alfredo. But Alfredo's always like, mm, like anything. Yeah. If does... he just gets close to him, he's growling. <laughs> but he's warming up. He is warming up. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. You know, Alfredo's been through a lot. So I get it. And now we've got this little shrimp soaking up all the attention. You know. I heard you say that you won the birthday Olympics and you really did. I think that's my best birthday. Oh, you heard that? I ever. Thank you. Thank you. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Thank you to Lena too. She yeah. was a big help. Yeah. But yeah, um, we did it. We did it. I just I, we had such a fun day already, so I was like, mm -hmm. okay, this is awesome. I was just wasn't thinking expecting about anything the, else to happen afterwards. I was just I was just thinking about the puppy the whole day. <laughs> I did see that you were so excited to get back home, and I was just thinking, what could it be? <coughs> yeah, I told you to. Um, it was like I have small, one surprise. small thing at home, <laughs> and I was it was it, he is quite small, so <laughs> I was uh, technically being truthful about that. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we have a really fun show here today, guys. We've got Matt Reif drama PowerPoint. Everybody is loving hating on Matt Reif. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. He's been in all kinds of shenanigans. He and, deserves um, all the hate. He does kind of, you know, <laughs> uh -huh. he, he does actually. And that's what's f so fun about that's it. That's why people yeah. are loving hating. Absolutely. Uh, our very own Tana Mo Mojo was actually involved in a new, a new one? Matt Reif scandal. Which is pretty exciting. Ooh. He treated her best friend, Brooke, and podcast co-host so horribly. Oh, my God. It made me so oh. mad to listen to. <laughs> um, I, should, I'll I can't wait to hear about mm -hmm. that. I'm going to warn you guys up front. We're going to do about two hours today because we, again, have a lot of work to do in preparation for Sunday. There's a massive truck in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Um and so we want to just make sure everybody's got the time to do what they got to do. But I promise you, Sunday night at 7 p.m., <laughs> you are going to be experiencing a full sexiness 
that YouTube has never seen before. <laughs> a night to remember. Um, so yeah, that's just up front right there. Uh, so we got Matt Rife. We've got um, <laughs> Mr. B sued for these nuts. We've got the end of the year bingo predictions. We made we do that every year. We make predictions, mm -hmm. and at the end of the year we see how did our predictions line up. Okay. So we're gonna go over that together, which is fun. And then also, who could forget Pornhub's year in review, which I always love looking over. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I forgot about pussy? those. Which ones? The Pornhub. Oh yeah, every year you get a nice little yeah. peek into which. Which state is watching the most lolly porn? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Uh, pussy. pussy turned red. Anyway, pussy turn also, red. it's the last time I have a chance here. You, here, you want to hold this? It's the last time, a uh, chance I have an opportunity to tell you guys to go to Teddy Fresh, shop the new collection. It's a perfect <laughs> gift for the holidays. Mm -hmm. And the new collection is outstanding. Uh, teddyfresh.com go over there just check it out see if there's something you like or something that a loved one or a liked one <laughs> would uh, also love I mean the stuff is nuts look at this it's so nice whoa mm -hmm. it is it's frankly whoa huh it's whoa that's hot yeah so what? go check it out uh, this is the coolest scarf ever too by the way mm -hmm. that's cool yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's legit. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. pretty legit. Oh, it's sold out. It's out of stock. You can't get that. Oh. Too bad. Oh, man. That, I feel like this could be a staple item. It's such a great, yeah. cool thing. There it is. Yeah, but that and so much more. Head on over to teddyfresh.com. Check it out. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> did I say gamer subs already? <laughs> you did. Okay. Um... Uh, Dan wanted me to mention about the live show. Do not come early with peace and love. The seats mm. are assigned. Oh. There's no need to come stand outside the theater oh, for hours. Good point. Yeah, there was uh, at the last show at the Ace, Do which was come. also assigned seating, there was a line pretty much around the block yeah. from like 11 a.m. or something. And, uh, you just don't need to do that. Yeah, everybody will get in. You have an assigned seat. Well, maybe um, they're just excited. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you, you could show up a, a little before the doors open. Maybe they want to be the, uh, first at the Teddy Fresh sample sale. Uh, I suppose there is that as well, but there will be plenty of time for that. Um, actually, uh, I think that they're going to open the doors 30 minutes early because of that. Um, it was originally supposed to be 6, oh, but God, they're going to open the doors at 5.30. Oh, that's okay. right. um, so so, that, so 5.30, the doors open? So just come at 5.30. I'm um, come. The Dolby is very equipped to handle large crowds. You will get through the door very quickly, so I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. And uh, the merch team that's coming is pretty big. I think we have like eight or nine people coming to work at the table. So um, yeah, it's going to be deep, 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 pretty deep. efficient. <laughs> so, um, so yes, I, I think that's good advice. You do not need to come stand not in come. the elements of uh, mm -hmm. peace and love. I mean, if you want to, for some reason, well, and also stop so, you. But. And 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 the um, the Dolby is kind of like it's hard to explain. It's kind of in a mall. Mm. And so it's it's not really like there's not really a good place to form a long line anyways I, uh, I think security at the mall would probably come tell you guys you have to leave anyways, so just don't bother like I've it, never been there It's at the mall uh, It's at that sort big of? it's so there's a big kind of shopping complex at Hollywood and Highland and it's okay. attached to it um, And that main entrance to it is sort of in I'm excited part of the mall I'm so, so yeah. excited. I saw Taj Ta Daniel Taj is a big deal yeah. He's doing a stand-up show at the Dolby. Oh. oh, yeah? And I'm like, well, listen, Daniel, <laughs> who you owe your entire format to me, I invented reacting to videos online. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Even though it was the Rob Diedrich has you. something to say about that. No, Touch Point, was Touch Point over for, I guess that show's been around for a while. Yeah. Well, of course, of course, the predecessor is America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Tom Saget, the goat. Yeah, the goat, rip. But uh, anyway, whatever. I'm just being silly. I have no problem with Daniel Tosh. Do we like Daniel Tosh? We do, right? I, I don't know. Frankly, I've never seen his show. I, uh, I've been to really enjoy Tosh.0. Okay. Well, there it, it, there's some hits and misses with that show, but overall, I think it's, a, it's way better than fucking uh, 
ridiculousness. Oh, you, Which can't, is all, you can't even compare the two. It's all of MTV's programming now. It's <laughs> crazy, <laughs> really, bro. Look at it, it's all ridiculous. Now. I can't understand that. Yeah, I'm, I, I wasn't sure if you said this, and I was a little confused, but uh, the chat is saying the same thing. Did you call him Daniel Taj? Tosh. Tosh. Okay. <laughs> well, I did say whatever. <laughs> Tosh.0. Daniel Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. <laughs> well, the well-known Indian comedian, <laughs> Daniel Taj. <laughs> I don't know if that's an Indian surname. The Taj Mahal is that actually a mosque. have gamer sumps. Is that right? Yeah. I believe so. Really? Didn't, right? I thought he built it, didn't he built it as like a, as a memorial for his wife? Yeah, he built it for his wife. Oh, it's yes. not a mosque, but it was know. a Muslim ruler that built oh, it, right? Yeah. Okay, that's, that now yeah. we're moving the goalpost. Okay. Oh, well. Why are you worried about my wife? <laughs> I think a human built it, though, at mm -hmm. least. I think human beings did build it. I think human beings did build that, yeah. Well, a good guess. When I go there next month, I'll let you guys know. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. you're, gonna, you're gonna see the Taj Mahal when you go? Yep. That's cool. Yeah, if you're in India or planning to be in India over the um, the break, uh, like uh, Cam will be there, so let's keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. Man. <laughs> We're doing a meet and greet in <laughs> India. In India. In the most for her. populous Location, country in the world. India. Is it the most populous in the world? It is now. It is. They passed China. Did they? Wow. It yep, is number year. number one this year. Congrats. Congrats. Wow. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Good thing there's plenty of there's plenty of food to go around. Plenty of money and food and resources to go around. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. India. Oh, that's crazy. India population. 1.4 billion. Damn. China. What happened, bro? Used to be the number one people producer. They're, uh, they're. 1.4. Wait, hold on. Hold on. According to Google, 1.408 billion in India, 1.4. Well, One, two unfortunately, Google, Google is a terrible search engine that gives you the wrong answers to everything all the time now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but yeah, here's a UN report from a few months ago that India, India overtakes, overtakes China. China. Congrats. Look how, and, look, and look how many people are there. Look, yeah. just in this one picture. Just look, the, the, the whole country, just shoulder to shoulder. I gotta say, I'm very jealous of Cam getting to go on this trip to India. Me that too, has been near the top of my list of places I've wanted to visit for a long time. Dude. I'm be going all over, so. It yeah. does seem fun. Cool. If I didn't meet Ethan, I probably would have gone to India. <laughs> you would have fed, you would have met some. <laughs> You probably would have met some weird fucking hippie Israeli dude. <laughs> you probably have like at this. You probably have an alternate universe hairy armpits and like uh, you'd smell like mothballs or whatever. I don't know. Hippies Moth have a balls. smell. They yeah. have. They all have the same smell. It's almost dirty, but not quite. And it's. It's, it's probably that organic uh, deodorant or something, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's it, just sweat. It, it, I used to work with a guy who was like in the whole like spiritual world or whatever. The the guy that I had the connection with Bratso with, mm. and he um, mm. would squirt uh, lemon juice in his uh, armpits, and he smelled. Mm. That's gnarly, dude. Yeah. That's there's didn't no work. shot. That didn't that's work. Like, I didn't have the heart to tell him, but it definitely wasn't working. <laughs> what is the um, wash that hippies use? I don't know if it's that Doctor Bromer shit. They all use the same stuff. They all use the toothpaste with no fluoride. It's like, bro, that's what my that's what my one-year-old son uses. Oh, Tom's? <laughs> is that what it's called? Tom's? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, got, you need fluoride. That's the whole ass point of the toothpaste. Uh, what is the wash that hippies use? Isn't it patchouli? Yeah. Oh, I see people saying that in the chat, I sent, too. I sent in a Discord. Then. Patchouli? Yeah. Patchouli oil. <laughs> um, Tosh.0 started in 2009. Patchouli oil has been in use for thousands of years, but gained tremendous popularity because of its use by hippies. Experts said that the regular use of patchouli oil by hippies is because of the raw, earthy, and natural nature of this oil. Okay. Maybe that is. I would like to smell some patchouli. Because I could, I could, the smell is undeniable. I, a ton of people in the chat are saying that, so I, I think, I think that's it. Okay. So, I, you know, it, they all smell the same. They do. Well, we all. I do think we a all big smell like part of it is the is the deodorant, like no deodorant or yeah. organic stuff. It's like the smell of dreadlocks. That too. There's like it, 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 you know when you see it, it's there's a smell, it's, you know. There's a ducky crying. Ducky. Yeah, he's, he's in his puppy cam. To take a nap now. 
Oh, he's so fucking cute. He doesn't <laughs> sleep enough because he's just so excited. So, yeah, oh. and we are too. <clears throat> Balance. So but he, well. he's supposed to be sleeping like like most of the day. Hours, <laughs> eighteen hours a day. And the first day he came, I don't. He go. didn't sleep almost at all. Oh. He's such a good boy. Like he's so good. He, he'll complain a little bit, but then he yeah. he's so good. yeah. That was quick. Up. Such a good boy. Aww. He's so cute. <laughs> It's a good boy. Yeah, we need to force him to sleep, otherwise he doesn't. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've learned. Because the first day was just like up almost the whole day. Yeah. So uh, He's a biter, see? by the way. That's another yeah. thing. where He's got the oh sharpest little fucking puppy teeth, man. My hands are and destroyed. He just wants the, and he just wants to play. So like, <laughs> that's his go-to, is just bite. And it really hurts, so I like, I react fast and he thinks I'm playing, so he does it even more. Yeah, I go, Ela, don't move. And then Ela's pushing him off, <laughs> and then he comes back harder because he thinks she's playing. Yeah. He's a brutal little biter, but we'll get there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch some videos on, on training. <laughs> it's it's uh, <coughs> very important for the puppy to bite you when they're young, and mm -hmm. for you to react and like, say, I. Uh, that's how they learn. For mm -hmm. when they're adults, so it's good that okay. they're biting you now and that you're reacting. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I I'll watch videos about it, but when I react, he just does it more. He gets more excited. Yeah. You need to He's find out the way boy. to yeah, like a loud sound or like there's something like hey, yeah, yeah. that startles him. Yeah. yeah, that's the perfect way to handle it. Um. Um. I need patchouli oil in my dreadlocks. No hippie oh, hate though. I don't hate them. When did I say that? I just said they all saying, smell the same. Just saying. Do a poll. Do all hippies smell the same? Oh my god. <laughs> what are they gonna accuse me of? Racial stereotyping <laughs> hippies? Get out of here. You know what I mean? Go ahead, do it, Dan. This oh. hippie hate, dude. <laughs> it is not a hippie hate. This hippie. poll at its core is hippie hate. It is not. Well, like, what's wrong with saying they all smell the same? They do. My, uh, I mean, you a, said that, and everybody in the chat said patchouli problem. oil, so I guess oh, I'm, you're, you're, you're kind of I am talking about white people with dreads, by the way. My, my deadbeat. Oh, yeah, you should definitely oh, specify yeah. that. My deadbeat. You're talking about hippie. I mean, when you're putting, when you're, I, when you have a, <laughs> an image of your head of what I'm talking about, of course they're white. Yeah, uh, <laughs> most hippies tend to be. <coughs> Sorry, do Dad, all go ahead. hippies smell the same? If there wasn't you, it was Dan. He's just like <coughs> different dimension or something. Um, my deadbeat piece of shit grandfather wears a uh, patchouli. What? Wait, oh. what? why did you characterize him like? Wait. That? <laughs> <laughs> do you? What is there happened beef there? With you and your gramp? Yeah, we don't gotta get into it, but that smell is. Uh, well, you know, well, you brought it up. You called him a deadbeat. Yeah, piece he's a piece shit. of shit. Yeah. What uh. happened? He abandoned my father. Oh. Um, and he's, but is he back? Kind of, sort of. He tries to be. And but he and he has a smell. Yeah, it's patchouli. Is your dad <laughs> forgiving him? Fuck no, dude. Mm. Interesting. Why? So, so, how he's, old was your dad when he left? Uh, ten months. He took off to New York and he left my grandmother behind. Ten months. Then he he tried to get back in my dad's life and. Uh, it, it was a whole thing. Is he local? He lives down in the desert. So he's in Cali, but not in LA. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck him. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck the stinky yeah. mother, deadbeat. stinky loser, De stinky deadbeat, stinky stinky loser. Yeah. Why would you leave when your children are having a baby? You know. Yeah, I've tried to talk to him about it, but he's a narcissistic piece of shit, and <laughs> there's no getting through to him. No. Yeah, well, you kind of have to be to pull some crazy shit like that. So, fuck patchouli. Stinky yeah. ass bitch. It's all the patchouli. Stinky fucking bitch ass. Yeah. Nick Mauer, thank you for the gifted. Thank you, gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Wait, we're getting all kinds of generous uh, situations here. But let's stay focused if we can, please. Well, there was a 50 that we should probably shout out. 50 gifts. Go ahead, go From ahead. Uh, Lovro. So, thank you for that. Lovro. Very generous of you. All right, let's see. We've got to keep the show tight today because we just got so much to do. Uh, by the way, the uh, hippie poll, is 70% of the audience agrees with you. But that's wow. what I'm saying. It's not racist if it's true. <laughs> well, it's not racist at all because you're not talking <laughs> about a race. Right. Hippies that's are not a race. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. 
<laughs> then the pussy turned red. Well, that's before making it racist. Me head. <laughs> You're not I, helping there. He's not a hippie, though. <laughs> Definitely not. And I, Just a freak. <laughs> a cool freak. No, he's M. Dot R, bro. <laughs> M. Dot R. That's right. his name. Put some respect in his name, dude. That's my boy right there. When I fuck pussy, pussy turn red. <laughs> Gymnastics. Now the pussy dead. Now the pussy dead. I love that part. That's, that's Love's favorite part. <laughs> What's the problem with today's post, AB? You got? You have an I, issue? I have a major issue. <laughs> okay. Open this. <laughs> All right. What's the problem? Can you can you zoom into me slightly? Why are you gonna, Elena? You, this man is literally about to slit your throat. <laughs> is this the, is that what your problem is, or the problem with yeah, your yeah, face all the, all the what? yeah, no, I, all the I saw it in chat, and then all the comments. This, this is the best take we had, love. Well, you want to see the other takes? Well, I mean, you want to you want to see well, some okay, more pictures? Okay, AB, you know you're not the only one in this photo. Okay, right? Well, right. well, you're the head, and where are you looking? I don't. I'm. It's not a great photo of me by any means. <laughs> but you're not even looking at the camera. Okay, so you're saying love failed to choose the best option. I mean, somebody's looking good I happen to right think it's there. a great photo of me. Uh, Cam's eyes are closed. T K love, looking be honest. Body. When you choose a photo, do you just look at how good you look? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the last person I look at. Yeah. No, uh, he does I look Ethan Ila, then the girls, and then... He looks good. Then A, B, and then the rest of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> a, B. <laughs> Here's another photo. Can take a look at <laughs> yeah, sure. Here's another one. Love uh, gave us an alternative option here. This one is, of course... Well, this is, <laughs> yeah. well, this is prior. <laughs> I could tell because I was putting my arms around Lena for the photo. So this is prior. Yeah, there is a, there is a good photo of you where you look happy and stuff like that, but Ela looks away. Mm. I'll send it right now. Okay, we'll, we'll look. And then, A.B., you can decide which one is the best. Yeah, I got to defend Love here. here. Well, let's see. There's one more before the... we... Uh, Pick a side. I, mean, I, I guess I could I have mean, posted this. I mean, look this, at but... everyone. I mean, yeah, she's but she's smiling. Yeah, she's. I could have posted this. But, oh, this one. Know. Okay, yeah. so okay. this this one is actually nice. Yeah. It's not Ela's bad. not looking at yeah. the camera, yeah, the, but yeah. Just in when I was look, because also it's kind of stressful to like upload it to your PC. And but so sometimes yeah. I do miss some. But yeah, I, I think I, in general, I look Ethan Ela looking at the camera is good for the social yeah. media posts. No, yeah. I used to do it before. I know it's it's stressful. <laughs> But so what's well, issue? hold on though, Avery. There seems that. to still be an issue. Oh boy. Um, I, I love how I look in all of them. So I mean, it's all yeah. the well, I think that's Ethan great. And I in that second one, we look like we're in a dog campaign. Sure. We're both <laughs> in the arms of an angel, <laughs> you can save this dog's life for five cents a month. <laughs> By the way, you see this scar here on my nose? That thanks to the facial lady, she literally put oh, a fucking shit. dent in my nose. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah. But okay, whatever. Although, I don't know, in, in Israel, when I was younger, I would go and get those sometimes, and you come out looking like all scarred. It's crazy. Bro, I, I, uh, that cannot be good. Oh, you my should, nose yeah. is fucking massive. This is one more. This one, this is the only other one. So, AB, which one would you have chosen? Here. This is... <laughs> The, Zach is were, not with it. This one is yeah. worse. I am not with it. <laughs> we look crazy. Maybe you're not worse with it. Yeah, this one again, definitely worse. Again, again, these are all prior because I don't have my arms around Lena, so that's how I know it's before. But the photo. It, yes, love, love doesn't Wait, know that. They when are. Prior. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it was targeted. I'm just saying it, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, reviewed very well. Mm. well but so, all the other ones you don't like either. <laughs> Everyone's no, no. I love. I love the. I love. Actually, Actually, the one any other one is, any other one is okay. Any other one is okay. You know, I have to say, I think reviewing these though, I overall, made a good this one isn't. I mean, I know you look kind of wild. <laughs> but what's your but look problem? At well, what's your problem with the way that you look? Amy? Dan looks so um, peaceful. It looks like I'm about to murder my wife. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, right. Look, at, I mean, the, you can look at the comments. Uh, OJ. <laughs> you also have a like blue ethereal beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? AB's like, <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised I mean, how many young girls there are with grandpa issues. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many girls got father issues and granddaddy issues. And how many of them girls got granddaddy issues? That's uh, right. This I'm, one's from New Hampshire. That's you, AB. <laughs>
<laughs> you know I, look like, I look crazier than OJ ever looked. <laughs> I don't know about that, brother. You seen that one with the banana where he pretends to stab the reporter? Oh, it's just, okay, he but just imagine, being goofy. He, imagine he looked like that when he did it. I mean, Ian didn't I think, complain, and he's not having a great photo moment. Ian looks great. It's not I, bad. I thought I looked fine. What yeah. The hell? <laughs> yeah. Why are you saying that? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? He looks great. <laughs> All right. I was going to say that he, if you look at the don't majority. You think his, I mean, his eye is a little d- weird looking here. Stop. <laughs> yeah, Ian, you look, look ugly like as that. It's uh, just some weird. Damn, you look fucking busted, dude. Well, I rather you look photo. like shit. Hold on, bro. your fo- your face doesn't look like shit. I'm just saying it's not a great photo. Of you. I'm not insulting like how you physically look in real life. There's, I mean, here, I'm going back to this. I mean, here I am, this. Ian. Do you think this is a great photo of me? You know, it happens. Oh, I mean, well, this is actual. It actual happens. Uh, I was gonna say that. <laughs> If you count the people in the photo, the majority of, of them have a good photo here. So I think he made the good call. And for the record... <laughs> Under yeah. the time constraint, he has to make a quick decision. Uh, yeah. Well, we, let, let's, we can count them. <laughs> okay. Ethan's not looking. Uh, Ian's high. <laughs> Cam isn't looking. No, oh, so Ian's wait, high. Wait. Okay, so let me defend Ian's myself. Fine. His Half eyes of the pictures, weird. Cam will just <laughs> close his eyes. Like he'll, in the past, has just closed his eyes on... I don't, think, I don't think that's true. Listen, can uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you close your eyes on purpose? No, I don't no, there's definitely been, been pictures where I have like seven pictures and all the pictures you have your eyes you closed. Think you no, you explain that, You can come with receipts right now because I don't believe that's true at all. <laughs> I, I could try to dig I it keep out. my oh eyes my open. No, I'm not saying, I, I, I know it has happened in the past, <laughs> but. Listen, I've been there. I'm not blaming you. I know it's stressful, um, but I'm just saying you ruined my whole winter break. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You may not be kidding about it. I know you. You take the things really. You do take them quite. Doesn't often, sound like you know. a joke. Just, just like the flock of the, face was a real disaster. This for is you. like this is this is close to it. This no, is getting there. Oh my oh. god! No, it's not. It's not even a bad photo. Um, no, this is I'm even kidding. But after level. you make it a big deal, it's gonna be. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no complaining about this when this is a meme for the next year. Nobody thought about Duh, it no, exactly. Like, but now you are OJ Simpson. It, 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 I think that overall, looking back at Love's photos, not just today, they're all really good <laughs> for everybody, for the majority. Mm-hmm. And in Love's to defend Love. His mm. camera does sort of morph us a lot. I feel like. So um, the problem is your is his your phone, love. We need to upgrade. You know I think I mean? the cam- <laughs> the photos are, look great. It's sharp. Well, you know what? Next year nice we have all back. year to work and perfect. Uh, yeah. Thank you, AB, for the input, and we apologize for. Yeah, I. I just something to think about over break. Just. I will. Work on <laughs> it. We'll, we'll <laughs> all. Something tells me you'll be thinking about it more than us, but I will. Practice well. your poses, AB. Yeah. In the mirror. Mm. True. Do you do that, AB? No. No. But I need, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'll be honest. You do. Yeah. yeah. I want to know which smile looks the best. I can never... we look? At, can we look back at this one? What are you are still looking backwards on the? What you got for me? I, you got oh, the code. I, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have this code on my phone. Uh, here Three we go. One time. Let's see. So right, this one looks fine. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> this is before. Like... So we'll zoom in more. <laughs> Oh well, okay. I mean, I don't care about how I look, though. No, that's I me. Feel like that's everybody. my face. <laughs> that's what I. That's my fucking face. You know what I mean? Like at a no, certain girl. point, you just got to be like, "That's me." Who wants to look at this fat fucking? Face? <laughs> oh my god, Zach. So that's with my normal personal phone, yeah. and I have another phone with a really good camera that I use pretty much only for taking pictures. And AB, right. you look good. You looking like a fucking paralegal over there, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to remember why was I dressed up that day. <laughs> that was the night we were going to uh, uh, Martin. Oh, Dresser. that's why. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. You look good. Thank you. You look like potentially like a, car, a realtor on a card kind of situation. Yeah. <sighs> on a butt, like on a bus stop bench. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I Our, see. It gives a call center to me. Call center. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck dresses that nice for a call center? <laughs> A polo shirt? The manager. <laughs> yeah, maybe a manager of a call center. The Irish ha. manager. Da dun gang 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 gang. Ha ha dun gang gang gang. Ha ha. Hmm. 
<laughs> Tim Heidecker throwing shade at us. Uh, whatever. Oh, this is fucking upsetting. I'll get, I'll pull it up then. I guess if you got, we're doing beef here, and he said explicitly, "I'm doing this to cause beef." So you know what, Tim? I'll fucking take the beef. <laughs> and shame on you, by the way. Um, fucking asshole, piece of shit, fucker. For even attempting to come after us. Oh yeah, Tim Heidecker, you guys remember? What was that show that he was really popular for? I forget. It's been so long. <laughs> uh, well, I am a huge on cinema head, but oh, yeah, I am you, a fa you, I'm a fan you, of his co-host Greg. The, the other people that watch that. Yeah, I'm a uh, and I'm more of a Greg head anyway. I'm a Greg head too. Yeah, uh, Tim is a fucking asshole on that show. Uh, he's really sh exposed in himself. that show. He's a psychopath. So, yeah, so let, let's hear what he has to say here, yeah. Tim, whoever that is, Heidecker. I have no audio, by the way. Oh, well, maybe they are the king of drops then. Yep. Is that you, Zach? No. Everything's oh, up. Oh, what the hell? My, my Is it muted on Wait, the... my computer got muted again. It's so oh. weird. Because it was before the show. Should this should the sound bar be full, Dan? Oh, it should be full. All right, let me do that. Okay. Oh, that's oh, I hear that noise. Oh, okay. here we go. So stop looking at me. Look anywhere else, buddy. August. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just anywhere else, man. Not a great Not place. Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> You know who that is? Your special guest. Ah, uh, probably some secret guest that nobody knows about. Um, mm -hmm. No, I noticed this, Doug. I saw the majority report. They're like totally uh, going down to drop, drop heaven, drop zone, mm -hmm. whatever you want to say. Wait, majority? Majority reports hit and drops like nobody. And <laughs> e, I mean, now what's his name? Ethan Klein at H3H3, not to start beef, but their their drops are. Okay, I, yeah, it's it's like I know we're not saying we invented the drop. I mean, that's this is a radio, you know, it's been happening forever. But it does seem like we're having an influence on culture <laughs> in a bad way. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Nick and I, we do drops. We do custom drops. So you <laughs> your know, drops we, are drops plebeian, are guys. Listen, I've seen what your drops are. It's like, oh, bink, like like you're doing like sound effects of a cartoon. <laughs> Like, what the fuck are you doing? Three Stooges? We're doing an actual show here, right, Zach? This is I, this is you, Tim, doing a drop. It's offensive uh, to think I... No, and I very publicly... And Fred Norris is the goat, you know? Okay, well, according to right. Tim, he invented drops. He's a on fucking dinner. idiot moron. Wow. Fuck dumbass. Just dumbass don't, don't even... Idiot. Don't even go there, Tim. I I love I love your shit. Don't even fuck. You know what I uh, picked mm -hmm. up on in that clip is he pointed out that they have Vic and Doug on their show doing drops. It takes two people and this wow. to do and Zach's it, job. Yeah, right. for this. Blip. What are we watching here? Looney Tunes. <laughs> Give me a break. Well, some of those chiropractic amateur sound effects hour. do sound like Looney Tunes, to be fair. Literally amateur <laughs> hour. Off office hours, more like amateur hour. Oh! Give me a break. Let's fucking go! Give me a break. <coughs> Give me a break. Yeah, what was that show you did again? I, I don't remember. It's been like two to three decades. I Something in Eric. It was like something in something Eric. Something in Eric, right? Something in Eric. Yeah. The other guy Eric was. Wareheim, I know. You're He's right. really funny. Oh, yeah, the goat. Yeah, like he I, he needs to get off his eye horse. Yeah, like, for sit real. Down. If you want a lesson, Tim, I more glad you can come here and I can show how it's done properly. Well, we'll have to charge mm. him for that. I don't want to give that away for free. Interesting. That'll be a paid uh, gig. <laughs> right. All right, get behind you. You know, with our chaos pads. You know, if people start. Yeah, I know, pads, I know, I know, really I know. Stuff, you know. All right. Well, I think <laughs> I, I I don't want to start any beefs. But Is maybe this his show Too right late. now? Uh, <laughs> what no. are we watching? They they do. The, it's it says it on Office Hours a live pre-show. They do a little ah. Instagram live before they go live on the wow. uh, on YouTube. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not that I'm uh, not that I'm a fan or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who would be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. But uh, anyway, uh, Tim, hopefully, Tim, please don't respond until we're back from break because we'll be gone for three weeks and <laughs> we'll miss it. We're gonna, but I'll, you know what? I'll, 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 I watch, I see everything, okay? So zip it. Yeah. This is you. This needs to be you. You should be careful because Tim Heidecker actually is a, he's a murderer. He's actually, he's actually been on trial for, you think I'm scared? Killing like 20 people. Yeah. Not scared about that. Come at me, Tim. Yep. 
Come fucking find me, bitch. <laughs> Um, Rich Lux uh, is has accepted his speech. He, 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 oh. He's the winner of the soundbite tournament. Nice. That is the queen. Amazing. He, he defeated awesome. Big Tip. Uh, he really is so iconic. Mm -hmm. He really is. I didn't expect it. I don't know why. I didn't. I never saw it coming. But he really <laughs> cleaned up. Uh, here, here he is accepting his award. The f well, folks, I won the Ace Three Ace Three podcast. <laughs> Award. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, I don't have any words. Thank you to the Klein family. We already know Dan's the queen. Dan can do no wrong. Thank you guys so much to Thank the you, Ace Raisery podcast, the community, the supporters, the haters. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm elated. My social media blew up yesterday with so many letting me, letting me know that I won. So thank you guys. And um, I'm excited. I never win anything. There you so go. I actually won something, so I'm proud of it. All right, bye guys. Well, folks, I, I won the A3 so podcast delighted. award. Yeah. Congratulations, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, Rich. It's a, it's a. It's such a big award, actually. It's an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in his case, it is all love. Yeah. Like when you look at the five percent one, she may not she may not necessarily be stoked that she won. Sure. But he Rich Luck can enjoy but this as a how victory. you look at it, you know. Mm -hmm. How would you? How do you look at it where she's happy about it? <laughs> just kind of like going with it and um, accepting it for what it is, and just how iconic it Honestly, ended up true. being. Right. Could have you know? it. Right. But she could have embraced it. That is not what happened. It takes that five percent. Five percent. Have That's there been right. any any of the other winners that like would have been happy about winning? In, like in the oh, case of Rich, like have, have they all? Maybe, um, uh, yeah, Tipster, he tweeted about it. No, I mean, um, it, I, I'm sorry, I meant uh, like previous year's winners. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, was Howie thrilled? Oh, Howie would have been like happy about yeah. that. Yeah, I'm sure of, he was. Do about he it. turned around on the whole pro yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, right. But I would do But the other one is like, we don't have a communication with um shout out to <laughs> shout out to his oh, family. Family. if Dave Guetta knew, he would be sure he would have been honored. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Tipster wrote a very you know, very classy. He said, "Cheers, my dude." <laughs> and In reply, so rich. Yeah. 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 Love ya. No we, homo. We love them both, <laughs> don't we, folks? Good sportsmanship. Here is dark. Okay, you guys remember this guy? He made this animation, Dark Nathaniel Klansman. He it's like um he did it with fabric or something the first time. The stop motion. It's a stop motion, but yeah, he did it with like fabrics and stuff, and it was really, really, really good. Uh, you keep saying he. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's a. I, I, I Mumsy, don't, I don't know. Mumsy yeah, undead. So they, that, they. Also, they were trying to promote, which I want to promote. Apparently, sound by bees from space. Mumsy undead on YouTube. You guys should check it out. In fact, let me watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Instead of Reddit, so you guys can see undead mummy. It's called. And I gotta be honest, this one is not what I expected, and. uh <sighs> it hit me pretty, it hit me, uh, it hit me really hard, actually, but I'll play it for you guys and I'll try not to. I'll try to be cool about it. God. All his power, all his might. God won't put me here on this hill on earth. I tell you, he didn't wake up. He just kept on sleeping. I just stand behind him and watch him. Spans last moment here on this earth. He didn't even see you coming.
Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, that was so good, though. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm still unemployed. So <laughs> well, that is a shame because you are so that's, talented. Yeah, that's a crime. Oh, it got me all misty eyed, man. Yeah, Honestly, so talented, though. Yeah. It's um, the craft that the goes tears. into making that. Yeah. But the first one was just a silly comedy, and so I watched it with that expectation. <laughs> Ugh, dude, I was a mess. <laughs> yeah. A lovely tribute, though. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah, anyway, shout out Undead Mummy. I want to give him a big shout out. That was awesome. Super. And I guess the uh, Beast from Space did the all the sound design on it? That's what he said in this mm -hmm. in the Reddit thread, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's very cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, that guy gets around, man. I love it. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Up next, we've got... Um, Boogie, which who has been a somewhat of a fixture on the show lately, uh, he we've talked about. He made a new podcast with Keemstar, yeah, called Lol Cow. And um, the first episode, I, and you guys remember, Keemstar was saying that he wanted him to to unalive himself, that he I hated never him. Heard you. <laughs> it. It was one of the most unhinged psychotic rants potentially ever. Um, on Rich's stream. Oh, it wasn't even on the show, right? It was that. That was like in DMs. A private to each call. Other yeah. Or something. Yeah. But an, but anyway, their second episode is out, and we're all big fans. Since um, <laughs> your mom's house, your mom's basement is uh, no more. When we missed that show, Fucking we really ripped do. to the goat. Yeah. Man. We do still have Low Cow live, and don't worry if you it's you not don't the same. you don't need to watch that show. We'll we'll bring you all the best highlights <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, for comment and criticism, of course. Right. Uh, did you actually sit down and watch it? No, of course not. Okay, no. I did. <laughs> did you really? I did. Yeah. Oh, I'm so I, sorry. I don't know what Keem's doing. He's sort of trying to be like a motivational speaker now or something. I, oh, I, it's, really? It's weird. I don't yeah. Know. But what, his, his, what? What about that? That message he sent, Boogie, yeah, wasn't exactly. inspirational, <laughs> right? He's like, and and in this podcast, he's super loud, and the other two are so quiet. It was driving me insane last night when I was trying to like I was trying to ride the uh, the volume because it was just wild. Yeah, so um, Boogie has been eating dog food for likes. Oh my god! And uh, oh, that's actually something he's literally doing. So let's enjoy that. Fucked up. This is I don't give a f no more Boogie. Here oh we go. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! All right, so we'll start with what is this? A little shape, little. Well, little I got to go back. He explains why he's doing it. We got 403 right now. 403 likes, guys! Everyone like the stream. Nine, Dog food for likes. Look at here, yeah, hit. Everyone <laughs> like. Here we go, bro. <clears throat> You're right. Keem is, is louder. This is I don't give a f no more boogie. Here oh, we go. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! All right, so we'll start. This with, is such a bizarre is, show. A little, little, like a little dog bone right here. You are fucking <sighs> fat. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't care. You are, guys. Terrible. Why you do my dogs eat this? Good, fat? An, good analysis there. You ate a tiny pebble of dog food. You're fat. <laughs> What's the relation, dude? What he's is... not eating it because he's hungry. This is so cursed, man. Yeah, this this show is cursed. Yeah, shit. yeah. Because <laughs> oh, Boogie was yeah. like, "We only have 60 likes. Could you guys like the video?" And Keem's like, "Don't tell them to like without providing any entertainment. You got to do something if you want them to like it." Uh. So he starts suggesting some random stuff. Uh. Team he, Star, he wants to n not be the lol cow so bad. He is the lol cow, though. That's what's interesting. He is one of them. And he's right in the middle. Snap dab right in the middle there. All right. But anyway, here, let's enjoy Boogie eating more dog food. For likes. <laughs> okay, well, that one's gross. This one's red. Rings of Redemption no. is <laughs> literally not even I'm paying gonna attention. I'm going to go get a drink and piss. I'll be right back. Find that sound clap. Fucking gross. Seems disturbed. That's so okay. gross. Okay, Did anybody oh, in the chat this one find the good. SoundCloud? This one looks good. This one's got like a marbled beef feeling to it. Here, there we go. God, you know, Boogie, so the, fucked up. You know, Boogie, like dog food is regulated yeah, so that oh, if man. the American economy would ever fail, that dog food has to be edible by it's humans. So that bad. is for sure not true. <laughs> that, that, there's no way that's true. I've never <laughs> heard of that. What kind of psychotic... Yeah, you know, uh, back in uh, the Reagan era, he said, listen, if, there's, if there is a, 
nuclear war, we must be prepared. Therefore, all dog food has to be fit for human consumption, which is funny because most dog food has literally expressly written on it, not for human consumption. Uh, that's nuts. Can you fact check that? Uh, I'm saying a product formulated for pet is unlikely to be nutritionally ag adequate for humans and vice versa because pets become like family members in many homes. It should be underscored that not everything that a human can eat is safe for a pet. Well, yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, so seeming like no, definitely not true. Dude, that's so funny. Um, that's the weirdest thing ever. The way it's worded, though, it sounds it, like it's, it's not necessarily that it's dangerous to eat it, but that you couldn't I survive off of it. It doesn't food would yeah. be dangerous to eat. I mean, maybe. Uh, probably not kibble, maybe. but like that wet shit? I don't know about all that. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God, this one tastes like bacon, huh? Look at this one right here, this little red white marble thing. Oh, come here for a second. Huh? Keem Star didn't Everybody even get up. He, he 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 got up. He didn't even stick around for like the highlight. Yeah. He's like, I need water. I don't know. He was also like, it seems like fake laughing. Yeah. This, this whole thing is very bizarre. It's pure very, hat. Very weird vibes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Keem nice, is still gone anything? and he's still eating dog food. Mm. He's still going. Oh, yeah. no, we have a thousand. Thousand well, likes oh. there, buddy. Oh, well, we I'm taking mine now. back because you spit it out. <laughs> At one point earlier on in the podcast, uh, Boogie's oh, girlfriend is leaving the house. It's under my veneers. It's under oh, my Let me turn it down a bit. Teeth. Go ahead. Sorry, Boogie's girlfriend's leaving the house and Keem's like, oh, where is she going to fuck someone her age? And it's like, uh, uh, the irony. Bitch, who are you? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't be making those types of jokes there, Bucko Rooney. I wonder what this fucking tastes like. Yeah. Anyway, just, the What Is Dog Food uh, Tastes Like podcast. Great. It's all happening. Beat my ex wife, and I am also a pedophile. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can see why you're doing that show. The <laughs> prospects are not great. <clears throat> so that's, but that's what's going on with Boogie, if you guys were curious. I'm going to change your mind. Tim I was, <laughs> but I, I regret it now. Yeah. Well, uh, what can I say? But you're right. I can button it. I respect your decision. <laughs> Uh, Tim Pool says he will not be playing GTA 6. Why? Oh. You will. You have you heard about GTA 6? It's a, it has a woman protagonist. Uh huh. Uh, but isn't there women before also in the game? Like as a main character, I don't. I guess maybe. I, don't I know. no. I think this is the first time that. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> but it's uh, not. There's actually two main protagonists, and then and they're a couple, and you can play both. Or at least. Okay. That's speculated. Uh, what the game's gonna be like. So that, that but Ethan, like... it's even worse than mm. playing a woman. It's actually way worse than that. What? Because it's a Latina woman. Right. Oh. oh. God forbid. It's woke. Wow. Yep. And what's supposed to be Miami? I mean, <laughs> right. There's no Latinos. Not, no there. Latinos. No. In <laughs> Miami for sure. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, Tim Pool will not be playing GTA Six because. Women aren't physically capable of hurting men, and therefore the game is unrealistic. <laughs> oh my of god. Of course, ignoring the fact that um, what, uh, weaponry is, of course, gender, uh, you, any gender can use a gun, right? Mm -hmm. That is tr very true. Yeah. Very true. As of now, at least, the technology to check genders hasn't caught up yet. <laughs> but here, go ahead, Tim. You're the man. Play uh, uh, GTA. <laughs> Okay, you are running around punching and beating people and shooting people and stealing cars. Yeah, you know personally, I don't want to play a female character. Uh, it's not. I, I don't know if it really matters, but bro, are you, you sure? sound like such a baby? <laughs> are you sure you want to put this online? I don't want to play a female character. Like, bro, you are a grown ass oh man. God. You put this online willingly. That's crazy to me. Has he ever watched the Fast and Furious? It's like one of the biggest. Franchise he worldwide, refuses. he refuses. No, he it's not real. Yeah, it's unrealistic. That's the most unrealistic thing about the Fast and the Furious <laughs> yeah. music. Yeah, uh, you know the card. Michelle did a, Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, yeah. You remember criminal. that scene when the car did like a hundred uh, <laughs> yard jump over a canyon on a rope swing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the woman was driving that super yeah. unrealistic. Yeah, a woman couldn't do yeah. that. If Vin Diesel yeah. was driving that car, maybe I would buy it. Big problem. <laughs> big problem. I just can't suspend my disbelief that far. <laughs> It's kind of weird in my mind. And, and, you know, you can tell me that I'm wrong or something. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Like, this lady is going to run up to a random guy in the street and punch him, and he's going to go down. Nah, come on. What? 
It what? is a cartoon. <laughs> oh my god! I First mean, you all, you also can drive on a random street and find a tank and start driving it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. So you I'm can not jump playing. Out, you can jump out of an airplane and hit the cement <laughs> and get up. Uh, hold on, though. <laughs> like, How many women could go up to Tim and beat his ass? Well, tons of them. I'll yeah. do it. I suggest I'll we do try. It. Like a like a badass gangster girl who's like down, who's used to getting scrappy and stuff. She could definitely floor your ass, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Literally, what? Uh, Let's get you in the ring with like uh, one of these, uh, like an MMA, MMA fighter. Girl. Yeah, they'll Easily. fucking kill Fuck you, him dude. Up. One of those for sure will kill him. Yeah. yeah. No, no chance. Even the best woman fighter in the world has no chance against me. Yeah. What a fucking loser. <laughs> you literally uploaded this. That's so interesting to me that you actually did that. <laughs> Yo, if your average woman ran up to your average guy and swung a fist at him, it's not going to hurt him. Oh, I mean, it hurt. you're not even going to hurt him. Ladies, you're not. He won't even feel it. Since when does the game need to be realistic anyway? <laughs> I don't understand this. The, it, but he's wrong on both ends. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. He is single, right? And childless. Uh, I do not know his relationship status. Yeah. Uh, I know. You know, what, you know what the problem is, though. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Yeah. So that, love th that that clip was from about two years ago or so mm -hmm. now. So uh, maybe he's found love since then. Well, he's complained that sure. he doesn't have kids. So I'm assuming he still is childless, which is mm -hmm. not an L for everybody, but for him, it is a fat fucking L. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Problems everybody else. Mm -hmm. Have you considered adoption? I mean, shit, you know, there's, there are other means. You don't need to find someone to reproduce with. It's definitely not me. You know, adopt. Sure. You know, you can. And please don't encourage you can get, to adopt you a can, child. You can <laughs> I mean, get. Please don't do that. Yeah, I'm fine with him not having kids. Yeah, no, this, you know? this, is, this is a good setup we have. Yeah. I think it works out no for everybody. No amount but, of children. But here's the deal <laughs> his kids would be like, straight up re rebel rebellion mm, against him they would be like true. the fattest sjw's ever <laughs> yeah. absolutely earn a little bit but it's not think elon musk's well she's not by the way but think about elon musk with his transgender daughter mm -hmm. i don't know anything about her for the record but there's like he, he disowned her so that's what tim is well uh, i think it was the other way around she disowned yeah him. she disowned him yeah. yes she emancipated herself yeah. which certainly makes sense when you consider his opinions about yeah. uh, his own fucking daughter Dude, have a heart. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Gonna like put him down. And then so my point was like, okay, so you play as this character, you run up and punch a random guy, and then he just clocks <laughs> you in the face one time, you go down <laughs> wasted. You lose all your HP instantly, and then you wake up outside the hospital. Play <laughs> again, <laughs> Tim, Why you are a giant about, <laughs> You are a giant pussy. You could not knock someone out. I know that for sure. So like who which men are we talking about that's doing this? Like, wait, this is like so not a new thing. Like, yeah, it, here is Tim like Pool. There's so many there's video games. characters almost in all yes. games. Here's Did the they have top a problem post. with Street Fighter because of Chun Li. It's Who, like, who's I winning mean, this it, fight? If anything, it's also already <laughs> right. so designed for men. Like, the female characters are always so hot, and it's like, right, exactly. What are you even arguing about? Yeah, They're, they designed it for you to enjoy it. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> who, who are you putting your body on, guys? Um, my girl, love. Well, yeah. <laughs> you sure? Well, that's the thing. In the clip, he says the average woman. But it's like, it, first of all, it's a video game, so that's, who cares? And second of all, it, this character is an average woman. She's like a hardened criminal, like most GTA protagonists. You know what I mean? And also, like you pointed out, Ethan, there are guns in the game. Mostly right. guns. That's I mean, mostly mo what you do. In most GTA. of the disputes are, dis are resolved with weapons. Right. Not, not fisticuffs. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just... So anyway, shout out Tim Pool, who literally yeah, decided to upload that take to the internet. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Castrated. So we love Castrated? Them, we, we love them. <laughs> them on the right are really ahead of the game, and we love them. Look how he's sleeping. Can we get a jump oh. shot? Puppy cam. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ducky, what are you doing? <laughs> You are so funny. <laughs> that is incredible. Is so funny, oh Ducko. <laughs> Ducko the bucko. Ducko the bucko. Wow. That's awesome. You, um, what? Fuck you, Ducko. <laughs> Chill, Jordan. You even hate my dog? 
Um, new dancing guy video. It's exciting. Oh, we got to do ad. Uh, oh, yeah, say? I was about to, we'll do that interrupt to say it's time. Guys, we love gamer subs here on the H3 podcast. We mm -hmm. live for gamer subs. In mm -hmm. fact, we love it so much we made our own flavor. Woo. Sigma Brain, which Ooh. is a special blend formulated with great care and effort here in the office by all of us. A sweet, tangy lemon lime flavor with a tinge. It's spicy, spicy margarita. Yeah. However, if you don't like spicy food, I promise this will not. It's a, it's more of a. It's a, it's a hint. Yeah, it's a essence. tickle. I promise. If you are adverse to spicy, you will like this. It, it is not gonna uh, mess up your experience. But we love it, and I love gamer subs. Why? <laughs> First of all, it's a sugar-free beverage that energizes me. It's full of caffeine. It's full of vitamins, minerals, electrolytes. It gets me buzzing. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, shit, I need electrolytes. Shit, I'm thirsty. I need water. I need a pick-me-up. <laughs> One sip for every for every cause. They've got tons of great flavors, though, besides uh, Sigma Brain. If you are hooked on sugary drinks, switch to this immediately. Mm-hmm. I promise that will change your life. No reason really to consume sugar. Uh, in my opinion, especially in a beverage. Mm -hmm. I'm so out on sugary beverages. Yeah. Like, you kick back like a f almost 200 calories in a Coca-Cola. Yo, I'm seeing a lot of positive feedback on <laughs> Sigma Brain in the chat. That's nice, nice to see. Yeah. And, and I'm glad because I really genuinely do People think it's, it. it's a fantastic flavor. I agree. I think we did good. Yeah. We did good. But it, it honestly, if you're looking for just a nice flavored drink to sip at home, they have uncaffeinated, they have caffeinated. It really is such a great beverage. I mean, love you, you, this is, ex you don't even drink water, right? No, I have this weird thing in my brain where I don't really like water. <laughs> and, There's rabies. Uh, we like water products. <laughs> and since I've been drinking and similar drinks you know, for a long time, I've really fine tuned how to drink these. I buy <laughs> bottled water. And then I put it in the bo bottle water directly. And take, do, you mm. do you refrigerate it? Or yeah, I got a bunch of water oh. in the fridge. Take one out, boom, one scoop, yeah. one and a half maybe. Shake that thing up, and boom, I have a drink to, wow. like well, to just bring out the door. You know, I, so I thought that was wild, but I'll be honest. Um, Dr. Id says he does the <laughs> same damn thing, and he's a doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He goes, I don't ever drink water. He's like, yeah. what? Apparently you can do I didn't know you could do that. So, I mean, I don't know how long you can do that. But I guess, why not? <laughs> yeah. It's 99% water. Yeah. 99.5% yeah. Yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. It's just a little, it's just a little flavor. Mm -hmm. All different flavors. And you can, you can do flavors. a half scoop if you want less flavor too. That's the cool thing. You can like fine tune where the sweet spot is. You being. find that you're drinking more liquid because it's, it, it tastes A hundred percent because yeah. I, That's yeah. probably good. Though, yes. Overall. And also I'm, sometimes I'm tired of uh, sparkling drinks. Because mm. you can't Me really. Sh sh it's annoying when you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have something still. It's not good for my heart condition or my heart condition, my heartburn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the carbonation is really bad for GERD. Yeah, me too. Um, so listen, please consider supporting them. Try them out. Uh, I guarantee you're gonna love it. Right now, you can get a free waifu cup when you buy select GG tubs. Go to gamersubs.gg.com. Gamer, oh wait, hold on. Gamersubs.gg.com. Okay, we got two dots. <laughs> wait. That's what they said. Gamersubs.gg.com. Does that make sense? Can I think you that's two dots? probably I think it's a mistake. just dot .gg. Yeah. Yeah, no, that doesn't lead anywhere, so. <laughs> that is. Backtrack. Don't, not... don't add the dot .com. It's just gamersubs.gg. And by the way, you're welcome. That was on me. Don't be asking for make good. You sent me this shit. <laughs> not that they would. They would come. No, no, they're We fine. love them. And if you uh, and if you do the slash H three at the end, it'll take you straight to the uh, Sigma Brain. So one more time, gamersubs.gg is what where you want to be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, go to gamersubs.gg and use the code H three to get ten percent off your order. Hey. Yeah. So anyway, thank you to for being such a great supporter of the show. Uh, yeah. To gamersubs. <laughs> and consider getting yourself a tub, baby. Thank you guys. Ooh, this is a new track. How's huh, that? Debuting this one? Oh, today? yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, have you used it I, I think I might have. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a vibe. Though. It is a vibe. Shit. <laughs> it's 
kind of giving like Bruno Mars, maybe like. <laughs> hold on. Oh, what's that song he did about? It's a hundred gold fever. Twenty four carat. Yeah, tw <laughs> twenty four gold fever. Hundred gold fever. I have this labeled da, 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 as uh, da, da, da. funky uh, MJ vibe. So. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Bruno Mars. He's pretty fucking good at pop music. Man. I love Bruno Mars. He's forever. got he he gives like a little Michael Jackson like in terms of the talent and the of his music. Mm -hmm. He's so consistently yeah. incredible. Yeah, he's he's crazy talented. He, he yeah he idolizes uh, MJ and Elvis. Mm. If I'm not mistaken. That's an interesting combo. I definitely see the MJ influence like big time. Elvis. Okay, I just got. Somebody just left this chat message <coughs> that is fascinating to me. I've never heard of this before, and I just Googled it, and I do see articles about it, that the L.A. tap water has a harmless algae that blooms in the summer and makes the water smell and taste like dirt. Not everyone can taste it, but I could. It was a factor in me moving away from L.A., and I was like, that can't be what? real. I just Googled it. Why California's tap water tastes bad in the summer. Here it is. What? I guess complaints of earthy or musty taste or smell. I mean, I've lived here my whole life. I, I apparently I'm probably just used to it or something because yeah. I've never heard about this before. I mean, I generally don't drink tap water. Sometimes I will in like the middle of the night if I just go to the sink or something. Uh -huh. And it, I mean, it always tastes like shit in LA. It's it's never tasted good in SoCal ever. Mm -hmm. Like huh. compared, like living up north, the water tastes great. Yeah. You come to LA. In New York, it's like. New York and LA's gotta have. Or yeah, New York was good. Yeah, the water was perfect. LA's gotta have the nastiest tasting tap water in the world. Huh. In the country. Like, well, well you uh, might actually be right because apparently there's, there's a that science is behind that. Hmm. That's why they say New York bagels are way better is because of, the, of water. the water. Such yeah. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I well, believe it. it. I mean, no, it's such, the water is a big ingredient in it. If yeah. the LA Bro, water is it's such like this. bullshit. They, you know, the Israelis say the same thing about hummus. They go, it's, it was one guy. It's not the Israelis. <laughs> no, this is what they do when they don't want to explain their recipe. They go, it's the water. Give me a, it's not the water. It's not the I water. I think it's a big factor. No, it's okay. It can't be. It's impossible. I, listen, Ethan, I if was. You made a cup of coffee, and uh -huh. that's all water. With LA tap mm -hmm. water versus New York tap water, you would not taste the difference. I and that's the all difference. water. Let's well, let's get a cup from the East Coast and do. <laughs> listen, my whole my whole water world has been turned upside down this year by Martin, um, <laughs> and now I I would have agreed with you in the past, Ethan. Fully, it was just like ah, oh, this is just people being silly, but. I, I think there might be something to it. It's you can't. I, I I know what you're saying, but in the mix of a of a bagel dough with all the other with stuff, everything in there. else going on there, there's no way because in New York you're talking you're talking texture, you're talking fluffiness. They tend to be fresher, I think, and so you're you're, you're the water is not affecting the fluffiness. Huh? You know what I mean? Uh, also, real quick. Uh, uh, a little PSA because you mentioned Martin reminded me I need to change my water filter. So if you have the uh, <laughs> you have the shower filter, you should. Have oh, so I've replaced that. it once since he came, but it probably is getting close to be a second time. I eh? think it's three to six months. Is the, mm. uh, I never got to use reminder. it because my shower head was incompatible. Mm. You, wait, you I did it. though, but I, honestly, I didn't notice any difference. Did really? you guys? I did. You did? I thought it made my hair a lot more... Uh, Lustrous? Yeah. Nice. It might be because uh, my hair was so damaged from coloring and stuff True. that it was, like, not yeah. noticeable. True. Yeah. It's hard to absorb anything when you're yeah. all burned out. Um, <coughs> we can do an experiment now, Zach. <coughs> we can now? make two cups of coffee, <coughs> one with okay. bottled Shout water to... and one with tap water. Mm. Well, That's going to be a big difference. In our tap tape. water is filtered in this building, no, get isn't it, it? No, it's not. Get it from the same. Wait, but isn't this New no, York no. versus L.A. thing? But I'm saying the difference between a bottled water and L.A. tap water is not is going to be similar difference between New York and L.A. If you could tell the difference uh, between those two, well, you could the, tell the difference between bottled water and L.A. If the sparklets is bottled from <laughs> California water, then it wouldn't be that different, so, right? No, from the tap water. I have a thing. Not sparklets, that's purified. Sodis mm -hmm. in L.A. taste different than in Sweden. And I'm 99% mm. sure it's the tap water, or it's the water they use. Give... That I don't be. know where the water is bottled, though. That, that could mm -hmm. be. It, they have different formulas, though, in Europe because there's different regulations and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Are you talking about like regular? Any soda here. I, about I feel the tap water underneath the soda. Are you talking about sugar or diet? Diet. Both. Diet Coke. Both. Because I know in mm. most places, 
the cola uses cane sugar yeah. and America uses corn syrup, which no. could definitely change the flavor of it. Yeah, not every drink I drink out here, I fill the water flavors. below. Better or worse? Worse. Mm. Huh. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a shame. Uh, I gotta say, there are some bakers coming for you for your <laughs> I water. I know, I know they, here. I know they think it matters, but it doesn't. Well, this is a 27 month member, so you have to respect. <laughs> I, do, I, I, do, I do, I do. I bake sourdough, and water you use absolutely affects the texture, flavor, and overall consistency of the bread slash bagels. Mm. I just, mm. you're telling me a New York bagel. Then do doesn't, the test, Zach. Doesn't taste different than a, I'm not shitting on them, a Western bagel. You can make a bagel. Oh, don't come from it, Western It depends bagel, who's making on. it. You, if you, the same people come to LA and make the bagel, it's going to taste the same. Nah, yes. You're, you're so off. Bro. <laughs> do the test then. Do the coffee test. We're going to need an official bagel maker to chime in. I feel like. Right. But they're they're the ones propagating this. this why bias. would they? You're saying they're biased. Why would they? What's their? Because they they don't want to give away their secrets. Hmm. The same with the hummus guys. <laughs> it's so proprietary. Right. These recipes, especially hummus, like people live and die by hummus recipes. Right. And <laughs> right. and I'm telling you, they go, oh, it's the waters. They didn't even have to entertain you asking. Have you ever seen those guys on TikTok, the bagel dudes? Um, I've never seen a bagel like that before in LA. The, the appearance, the it, it, it's it's just amazing. Wait, so before we go on, <coughs> the Zach, bagel have you actually York had a New York bagel or are you oh, just going was, off of TikTok? When I was younger. Oh, you have? Okay. okay. I went to New York when I was What are you talking about? Zach, you haven't had a New York They're bagel good. in decades. <laughs> <laughs> but what Sam's bagel in, uh, in LA is just as good as a New York bagel. You think so? Oh, yeah. When was I, I had a New York bagel. Go ahead, Elon. Uh, I, ha like I had some <laughs> really bad ones in New York. Me too. Really? Yeah. We had a ton of bagels in New York. The bagels in LA, I might say, I on, on average, have been better. So many would be, just be dry and like not. Oh, wow. The also, New they're not are coming like, for y'all right now. They're <laughs> coming, them. dude. New, the whole I don't know. I don't know if it's Shut where we lived. Up. We lived in Manhattan, and I feel like that's where. The, maybe if you're like in another no more hip place, I, I feel like in Manhattan there's a lot of touristy spots. Mm. Mm. I don't know. You should have been able to get a good bagel. It's Manhattan. You get if there's something good, you can get it there. Yeah, Period. I guess you guys just don't like the New York bagels. There were some good ones. Oh, there were. And we, well, yeah, but like, there's good bagels everywhere. Like, we even looked up, like, okay, you hear about the New York bagels? Like, there's some conspiracy. And New Yorkers do this because it sucks there, so they have to build up these <laughs> this mythology that everything there is great, but it's totally normal. And so we look up online. Where's the best bagel place in New York? We go there, and it fucking is average. Okay, it's the average. New, the New Yorkers are saying Long Island is the place for bagels. Long Island! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Cool. I, 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 I saw two saying. people we were say not that. at Long Island. That's, that's like being like, yeah, California makes, uh, LA has the best bagels, but you have to drive to like fucking Simi Valley. Yes, <laughs> right. yeah, it's San Diego to get it. Which place in New York? Was it Essa Bagel? I don't remember. I don't the place. remember. The what name. do you care though, Zach? You haven't it's been there in big, two decades. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's it's a Jewish <laughs> deli thing. Uh huh. I went well. to one of the big ones. Okay. Yeah. Cats is. I'm seeing a lot of uh, all these New Yorkers are saying Long Island <laughs> is the place for Long the bagel. Long Island. I'm not, uh, okay. not, not That's Manhattan. where the bagel boss is. I mean. <laughs> oh. Right. Sorry, I didn't travel so, well, to Long Island that, for a while. That explains bagel. it, and that was what I was thinking. I think Manhattan doesn't have the best stuff. <laughs> That's uh, when it comes to food. That's ridiculous. <laughs> There's so much like touristy crap there. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of it isn't. You gotta go to Long Island. You gotta go to Long Island. Dude, nobody wants to go to Long Island. Or to Joey Salad. Nobody place. wants to go there for any reason, dude, except <laughs> to visit Joey their Joey Salads will uh, hook you up with a. You're visiting family. Spot. That's fine. Any other reason, you turn around. <laughs> that's where I would go to visit fam. Exactly. Yeah. That's a great reason to go there. Beautiful place to go. Only reason I I haven't been back since. Why would you? I wouldn't. Yeah. You're right. Do you guys know that the Sigma Brain flavor is out of stock? Oh my god! Whoa! Wait, it wasn't a minute ago. Did, oh, that's cool. did those Fupa Troopers just clear them out? Oh, that, I don't know. That's super cool that, uh... Wait, so if I go here... Wait, why is the rating down to, like, almost four stars? Wait, what? I was able to, uh... No, it's not. Pull that up, dude. This is bullshit. Somebody must oh, the be four, brigading. Four and a half. Dude, haters are downvoting this. <laughs> it's four and a half. Dude, it's almost a perfect score. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Okay, it's half. It's half. It's four and a yeah. half. I thought it was half. That's a ten. It should be a five, though. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're right. I mean, it averages, so all it takes is a couple four stars to bring it down a notch, right? 
or a Look, couple three, of haters. 350. Um, and and, Thank you and on that note, I said the wrong thing, and I had to, I had to take it back. And on that note, I wouldn't say what you said prior. I'm, yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. But uh, yeah, no, I it's think it, it's all good. I'm looking oh, through the reviews right now. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'll give you an example of a not five star review. Not to call. I, I, I won't mention names or anything. But say their name and address, please. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh, well, I'm mostly saying five here. I keep going. Looking, maybe these are all five too. I'm not seeing. The, oh, here, here's a four star. The flavor is pretty good with a little tickle going down. That's a five star review. I said four. <laughs> Decent flavor with a little bit of a kick at the end is Please another four star. Let, let's flavor. say their fingers slipped. Just, well, read one of the five stars I'm, before you know. Let's let's give some voice to the people that like it. Well, the vast majority of it's. I'm having. Unex, whoa, this person wrote an essay, dude. Go ahead, read <laughs> it. Five star, an unexpected favorite. I recently tried Sigma Brain Energy <laughs> Powder and the spicy lime flavor, and to be honest, I didn't have high expectations. I assumed it might be similar to the other lime-infused products I've tried and, would, and wouldn't nope. surpass what I had already do in adding a little bit of lime juice to the Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Oh, <laughs> lime lover. However, on the recommendation of a friend, I decided to give it a shot, and I'm so glad I did. <laughs> the spicy lime flavor of Sigma Brain took me by surprise in the best way possible. <laughs> Dude. It's a solid blend that balances I, the zing of the lime with the kick of the spiciness. Dude, this guy's a fi a, a fishy <laughs> uh, He's a he's a sommelier. A, 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 a this doesn't even sound sommelier. like a. This just sounds like a, a gamer sup fan <laughs> that's trying different flavors. Uh, uh, this doesn't sound like an H3 wow. fan. All different flavors. So that's that's cool too. <laughs> Was it but, used with LA tap water or? New York top one. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, really? It makes they, a big they difference, really apparently. Uh, they actually go on for like three more paragraphs, but uh, oh, we can move on. Yeah, but I'll say All right, here, I found a one-star review. Found one. You ready? <laughs> go ahead. Spicy lime, not a yeah. fan of this. I prefer sweet, but if you're into lime and spicy, this is the one. Yeah, then why? Wait, that's it, not why even that bad. It? It's not for you. Well, they're just saying for them it was one star. <laughs> but, but then but, why give it a one star for everybody? When you're like, some people would like, don't yeah. leave a review. Listen, if it's not people for you. have different philosophies about the rating system. You can't hold that against them. But that's not even a hater. They're saying you I might can, like it. I, I do. I, not for me. <laughs> I hold it against them. I hope idiot. I never meet them. <laughs> um, I'll say this though. When we said that we spent a lot of time formulating and perfecting the flavor, I meant that. We did lots of rounds of that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we went back and forth four or five times of sending of them is sending still tweaked a blend versions. For our cup or is it not? The cup? Yeah, what happened? I I know there it's happening because we made a really cool cup. I know. What's uh you know, I asked uh, I asked to follow up about that a while ago and they said they'd let me know and get back to me and I think it just kind of I think it I mean, just I, fell off the radar. I we, thought it was cool. We paid an artist like a fair bit of money to create it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and it came out great. Do we ever show it on the show? No. Do we have to change mind? Should we or should we wait? Maybe we should wait because yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm going to send another email and follow up with them. And People see. will be selling it on Redbubble by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. 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 We should probably wait. I'll, I'll shoot him an email right now, though. Thank you. Where are we? We were talking about. Uh, New dance, dancing guy? Um, you know where we are is at the point in the show where if we want to get to the PowerPoint, we should probably do it. Oh, yes. We're getting there. However, okay. this is important. It's my boy. More mm -hmm. angles have been coming out about him <laughs> and even a tutorial. Another angle? Uh, I need to know where is this happening? Yeah. Who is he? And like, what are they doing? Because I've never seen this. Where like, And he's always with the same. Like, this is his best friend, I can tell. Because mm. they're always next to each other doing it. Mm hmm and they're doing some kind of group dancing what country you got is third this? thing. I don't know. I wonder if it's in America or if it's somewhere else. But it's giving somewhere else vibes. But the Jorts, yeah, the Jorts are given somewhere else. But but at the same time Buffalo, New York. They're both wearing wait, what? You know that? No, they're wearing Jorts, <laughs> Buffalo, New York. Oh, just King Star. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Anyway, here good it sex. is. <laughs> That's my thought. Here it goes. Whoa, dude. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck, dude? Hell no. Yeah. Look at the other people next to him. They're not. Not, not and he, close. This no. guy on his right is in every video. And this guy is like, 
he is trying his best. Yeah, he's trying for sure. But he's so not on the level where he needs to Do be. Do you think they're like father and son? Nah. nah I don't <laughs> think so. No. Nah. Nah, his son would be better at it. They're home. They're just friends. I think the, the main dude, Whoa. His, his body just works with it so well. I, <laughs> did he invent this dance? I think he must have. This, this I've so never sick. seen that before anywhere else. Hold on, how's it? It's like, fuck. Play like, it, play it, watch it and do it. Here, here you, you click the... Okay, ready? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I've been trying, it's hard. So, okay. I love how they do this too. Like, yeah. <laughs> start subtle. <laughs> He does that. So it's just one. So step. one foot, one they, foot planted. Just one step. So it's one, one foot, foot planted doesn't... and back and forth and a little and a little rocking shimmy in there. Yep, yep, that's real close. <laughs> does Does anyone else in here have the ability to do this? Ab like Ab is a pretty good dancer. Can you do this, Ab? Love you. Think? That you've been not, not to like put you on yeah. the spot. No, no, I, I just wonder I, if you I, can nail it. Like this. When I come back from break, maybe. But <laughs> you, I don't know. you gotta rehearse I, it's it a little weird. bit? Put in the work. It definitely Olivia was left from me the other day. <laughs> well, I was trying to do it too. I looked so silly. You need to practice it. It's. it's, it's I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, you know, it's an advanced move. <laughs> uh, I love that guy. Can we, maybe we could get him to call in. I mean, we, let's yeah. find out who he is. Okay. I would be done. I fucking love him. Let's fly him come, out. Comeback show. Yeah. Let's hire First him. First show back. The dancing TikTok guy. Every every 10 minutes, he'll just come in and do the dance. He's on payroll. Although, with the H3 curse, do we want to ruin this guy's life? Is it going to come out that he's like a serial said, killer? No, We got to take the okay. chances. Yeah, he, we have to take the chance. Right? <laughs> I don't think anything can touch him. He seems like such a good guy. Really? Yeah. Can you guys find the tutorial? He, that, I've also seen that one. Yeah. Well, what is the name of the dance? It, it has, it's it's got to, at this point, it has to have that oh, move. Oh, somebody said name. that he released a tutorial? Yeah. Oh. He made it. That's yeah. Right. yeah. His tutorial. It's not good, but it's he, great. It looked almost <laughs> misleading, like intentionally. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I it's found not, it. It's a horrible tutorial, but I love the video. And this is this is his version of being like, oh, yeah, it's in the water. He's like, just do what I do, but he's not giving you good advice. Mm. More, more in Morinho? Is that how you say that? Morino dance? Is that him? That's, That's him. him. Is he American? I think he might be. It's so hard to tell. I don't yeah. think oh. so. But like, what's going on back that, here? This is giving like somewhere else. Yeah. This room. I was gonna guess like Southern Europe for some reason. Yeah. It was giving too. Southern Europe. Europe. That's me a too. vibe. I yeah. can see that. Like this Greece. outfit is not American to me. Greece, that's Italy. true. That's I a guess hard. Maybe you're right. It's a maybe hard it's European. His it's name a... is Jose. His name's Jose. Yes. Hmm. Well, hmm. it could be in Spain. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It could be yeah. in Spain. I mean, Greece, Cyprus, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cyprus. Looking for his uh, account here. Jose, though. That, I mean, that's got to be a Spanish name if he's in Europe. What else? Yeah. What other option is there? Portugal, maybe. Portuguese. I mean, that's maybe? just based off this Instagram post saying. Anyway, here's the tutorial, everybody. Take notes. We got water and bagels. So watch. He goes, do you do like this? No. And by the way, he looks sick doing that. That was awesome. I was like, is that a new move? He looks really good. But no, he was telling He's you, like, no, no, this no, no, is no. what you do. Let's see. Uh, somebody that. said his yeah. last name is Brazilian. Oh, and he's wearing a Brazilian oh, soccer jersey. Oh, Brazil. Brazil. There you go. So we were onto it with the uh, Portuguese. It's Brazil. Yeah, he's Brazil. Mm, maybe he's a Jimmy Lee fan. True. <laughs> Brazil. We love Brazil. Yes. Come to Brazil. Watch this. He goes, no, this is how it's done. This is how it's done. Three, two, one. Engage. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How does he move his torso crazy. like that? He's so good at That's it. That's crazy. And uh, by the way, I've seen tons of people trying to replicate it who yeah. are professional dancers who are really good at dancing, and nobody has come mm. has come close to the fluidness, the smoothness. There's that he something exhibits. in the build of his body that allows that. I think. I think. I I don't know. I think he, Although, this is just the whole the uh, every, hallmark of the master. Um, Every step he did here was pretty swagged mm -hmm. out. Like even just yeah, him, exactly. just him waiting. Exactly. That man is so much. Yeah, he's so a much talent. talent. <laughs> it's like you remember in Hunter Hunter when uh, Netero goes out in the nature and practices punching. Yeah. And that's how he ascends to the next level. Yeah. So I imagine Jose did something similar where he went out 
in isolation and just He's practice been doing this, this every day. Yeah, so it's all it, days. That's what's the difference, frankly. So Jose is a soccer player. It's named after him. The dance is named after okay. him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Got soccer it. manager. Soccer player. manager. But so did he invent the the dance? No, they just say they look similar. They like look alike. Okay, okay. It's called that. So he that is his dance though. Yeah, I don't know what the guys. It appears to be. That's awesome. Hey, Gabe, what's going on? You out in nature? Mm. Oh, oh. I just want to say happy Friday, baby. Happy, happy Friday, Friday, baby. <laughs> love you, Gabo. I wonder if Gabe Appreciate could try it. Love. Go ahead. Gabe, Ooh. have you seen the dance we're watching? The dance? I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you see it if I pull it up? Gabe, where what are you doing? Are you, are you hiking or are you just hanging out in your backyard? Probably in the backyard right now. It's quiet, peaceful. No one's bothering me. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it looks peaceful. Yeah. All right, I'll show you this dance. I guess either, we're curious if you can do it. I don't know. Uh, here it is. Go ahead. Whoop. God, gosh dang it. God, Jiminy Cricket, man. All right, here it is. Okay. He does a countdown so you know when it's coming. Here it is. Three, two, one. Boom. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Boom, boom, boom. What do you think? <laughs> it's awesome, baby. Yeah. It's Hi. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, this is our last show of the year in the office. Oh. We're do and of course we'll see you on Sunday, right? We'll see you on well, Sunday. I love, yeah. I love you, and I'm I'm preparing to do push-ups for on um, Sunday, baby. Oh. I'm preparing to do my push-ups, baby. Unless you want me to do push-ups for the the show, I'll, I could do my push-ups on the show. What do we? What? What? What's with the push-ups? <laughs> I don't understand. Getting in shape, baby. Oh, Getting okay. You part just because yeah. you're training. Out. Yeah. You can do them before the show. That'd be fine. <laughs> All right. Or after. <laughs> or after. Yeah, if I see Jimmy Lee on the show, he better not disrespect me, baby. All the Ooh. Italians love me, baby. Fuck Ooh. yeah, you're the king of. <laughs> yeah. You're the king of uh, New Jersey. I'm the king of New Jersey. You know it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Lee better not disrespect me, because all the Italians love me. Yeah. And besides, New York tap water is the best, baby. Yeah. Okay. It is the best. Okay. Gabe, why do you say that? You're LA, you're in LA, uh, you live in, in a, you're Los Angeles. What's the deal? Los Angeles. Because when, every time I drink tap water in New York or I have, have water in the fuck, it, it's much, water in the much fuck? better. I don't drink the tap water. <laughs> yeah, I agree that LA tap water tastes nasty. But Zach won't take me up on my offer. He's not feeling that confident. <laughs> yeah, I got something to say. Cause Santa wants to fuck. Santa wants to fuck. Santa, Santa wants, wants to fuck. fuck. Santa, Santa wants, wants to fuck. Yeah. Santa wants to fuck, baby. What does Santa want to do? Santa what position are we dealing with? Okay. Santa wants to fuck. All right. All right. I, I, I don't want to play. I don't can't. I don't play too many of those. Yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, Gabe, anyway, we look really looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We'll be gone for three weeks, but we'll be back and then. We'll we'll all be united again in uh together again in January mm -hmm. end of January mid of January. Yep. I love you. I love you, yeah. Ethan. I love you, buddy. I really do. <laughs> How's business? Picking up. <laughs> yeah. Christmas business. Try. Yeah, I, I I always love to plug your cameos. Um, Gabe is on cameo and he does a great job there. For anyone who delivers. <laughs> The man it's, a great, it's a great uh, stocking stuffer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, nice catching up with you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you calling in. All right, buddy. Well. Thanks for calling. See you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you on Sunday for real. Look forward to it. Okay. Look forward to Sunday, baby. Yeah, Bye, Gabriel. Time. Love you, bud. And Ethan. Bye. -bye. Yeah. I have a new merch. 
I have a new shirt for you. Oh, good. I'm going to bring it to you. Oh, fun. I look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Love you, dude. I love you, It's Friday, too. baby. <laughs> Friday, baby. Woo! 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 Whoa. Sorry. Did I wake up the dog? Yeah. Oh, shit. Show the puppy cam. Sorry. Ah, so oh, cute. cute. Back to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Gabe, you can see the doggy? Yeah. yeah. Little ducko. All right, bye, Gabe. Did I did yeah. I say that he took a fat diarrhea in our bed? Did I tell that? You story? did mention that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was so nasty. It was so nasty. It wasn't his we fault. We knew though. better he, than that, but honestly, it was it was so not his fault because he was having diarrhea for some reason. Yeah, and he can't get off the bed, and yeah, we knew <laughs> better. Fault. You're right. You're right. We, we did knew know better. better. It was totally it's not. not it was one thousand percent not his fault. He's just so cute. <laughs> But he's been really good with the potty training already. Yeah. I'm really impressed with how fast he's he's Yeah. He's catching it. I just I feel like I learned so much from training Shredder. Yeah. Like I know what it looks like now when he's like looking to poop, for mm -hmm. example, or Yeah, know. totally. Hundred percent. Yeah. And I mean, because they have they're the same breed, there is a lot of like similar mannerisms yeah. and stuff. Mm hmm Yeah. And Trainer Shredder was hard because that was our first time. And he was, and dude, was, Shredder. He would was, not be okay like this. No, Shr dude, hard. Shredder from day one was such a punk, dude. <laughs> like he wouldn't eat his food. He would. He was even starving himself from the when he was a puppy because he yeah. liked this little puppy syrup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just wanted us to feed him that, like puppy candy. Oh man! <laughs> and he would go on food strikes even as a newborn. Yep. And this dog. Uh, Ducky, he, he devours his food. Yes. He just, <laughs> <laughs> which I love, mm -hmm. because feed, trying to feed Shredder was one of the, like the biggest pressure points in my life on a day. It really day. was. It was a stressful <laughs> thing, and then Alfredo kind of took after Shredder in the food thing because I don't know Shredder made it weird for Alfredo. Shred, I think Alfredo has an eating disorder now too. <laughs> but I mean, he's healthy, obviously. Yeah, he eats. I think he just kind of like eats when nobody's looking. That, yeah, that's what I used to do. <laughs> but, um... Oh, he's doing it again. Let me see Ducky, show him. <laughs> you are so funny, dude. What a goofy person. That is so Oh silly. my god. His body is so, like, he's so small and, um, <laughs> frag- or... So small and, like, not fragile, but he's- he's just like a piece of soft rubber. <laughs> like, his body is just so... Just, Stretchy and movie, you yeah. know what I mean? He's so small. I think he weighs like three and a half pounds right now or something. Yeah, three pounds. That's so little. <coughs> but anyway, I digress. <laughs> we were talking about the dancing guy and he ran away with the show. Here's a little Phidias update. We're going to get to the PowerPoint, but these are all important. And this is my last opportunity to talk about them, so I do need to get to it. Mm. And by the way, if you guys want lunch, we should do it now because... Oh, yeah. We're not going to stay uh, super right. late tonight. <laughs> what are we Phidias, doing? friend of the show, great thinker of our time. Some have com uh, compared him to Plato or Socrates of the modern day. I personally think he's more of an Isaac Newton character mm. um, the w with the way he perceives the world. Regardless, he's doing a 30 days in VR social experiment. And here is a clip of him discussing his favorite actress, Margot Robbie. <laughs> this shocked me. I, I, I agree. I, <laughs> my jaw dropped. I, I thought it was just some fun, more <laughs> new mumbling, whatever, and I was kind of enjoying the start. <laughs> but then that hits, and I was like, damn. <clears throat> I was like, whoa, I, I, don't, I feel like I don't know who this guy is. Right, like, yeah. Well, here's the first part. Okay, Listen to what he says. Let's hear it. <laughs> Barbie actor. <laughs> Actress Margot Robbie, bro, I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> that that blew oh, me wow. away. <laughs> I was like, excuse me. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so vulgar, bro. Why did you say that? That's Everything. like nuts. What? Everything changed <laughs> so Everything fast. Changed. I, I feel yeah. I felt like I don't know him anymore. But anyway, go on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you so. gotta grab that, Zach. <laughs> I pulled the whole thing. <laughs> I want to fuck that bitch. <laughs> uh, 
That was a bit nasty. I apologize. <laughs> oh, he immediately. He, uh, that's his inner monologue, though. Wow. He thought, I want to fuck that bitch. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, she's so pretty, guys. She is so beautiful. Track tracking? It's like, let me show you some pictures of here. I can't see. No, Are we, am I supposed to be able to see what he sees? No. So uh -huh. he says, let me show you. He's just looking at them. Okay. Go <laughs> and find some pictures of here. She's it's absolutely beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful. Yes. You just like watching her face, bro. She's amazing. <laughs> Maybe so he has a uh, chat on in there and he could send links potentially. Oh, okay. Yeah, he could even pull up things in OBS, maybe. This would be a lot better if we could see what he's looking at. It, maybe, does he have a secondary stream where you're, you're seeing his VR view or something? Actress. Maybe? That, that is what's missing in this, why nobody's what? watching this shit. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know what you're seeing, brother. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> Jesus. that is so, so wrong, Phidias. You cannot oh my talk God. like that. So, that was a bit nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. A little bit. I want to fuck this. So bitch. sexy. <laughs> w oh, no. Robbie Marco Robbie. Let me see what the chat is saying. We're gonna oh oh oh. <laughs> there it is. Wow. New video. Yeah. Uh, clip. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Chill. Chill. Uh, so, that was a bit nasty. I have a little bit of breaking news that you might uh, <laughs> find interesting here, Ethan. Go ahead. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani, 30 minutes ago, lost his what court case. He has what? ordered, he owes a hundred and almost $150 million Wait. to Georgia poll Wait, workers. Why does he owe money what? to poll workers? Uh, the poll yeah. workers who sued him for defamation uh, after he falsely accused them of helping steal the election. What? Oh my Trump. God. Wait, the poll workers as a, as a monolith? Uh, sued him for defamation? I didn't know you could I, do I that. I knew that he was being sued in relation to that. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's see. These numbers that they put out there are c kind of dumb. Like, he's not, like, let's put out something, like, real. A bunch of well, like, he certainly doesn't have that much money. Not even I, close. Yeah. So. Like, mm -hmm. let's, let's give him, like, a real fucking thing. 150 million. That's not, like, nobody has that much money. Almost nobody. It's the same thing with Alex Jones. They're like one, they're like $10 billion. It's like, well, let's well see. Um, nobody has that kind of money. Uh, here's how the jury uh, got to the number <coughs> deciding the uh, case. Ruby Freeman was awarded 16 million for damage done to her reputation. Her daughter was awarded almost 17 million for that damage. You, Jesus Christ. Each woman was awarded 20 million for the emotional distress caused by what? defamation. Finally, Giuliani wow. was fined 75 million in punitive damages for Jeez. defaming. Oh my God. That's fucking nuts. So, but now I just wonder like, because he, he has nowhere near that. I'd be surprised if he has a million dollars at this point because he is desperate and just so fucked. Yeah. Um, so, like, what happens now? You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it like a payment plan for life? Definitely. Well, and he'll They'll, probably appeal this a million times. It'll probably mm. take years for any actual movement on it. That's but yeah, that's pretty true. wild. That's true. It would they would just garnish garnish his wages. They when that but when you lose, they can like, take money from your bank account. Even if they don't get the money, it kind of sets a scary precedent for other people. It's good that... Do not he, do that. I agree. It's good that they won. Yeah. I just find... It's some, it just makes it feel a little silly sometimes when the amount yeah. is so stupidly big that it's like, who... who nobody has that much money. Mm -hmm. Damaging this woman costs, caused her $60 million? Pussies. And damages? I mean, I don't know the I don't know the details. I don't either. The, the, yeah, I, that's true. The jury knows the details, yeah. and they're the ones that, or the judge, <laughs> maybe in this case, I don't know. But yeah, he's never forget this. He's hairs for men is going to be never out of the budget, forget. man. Disgusting. After that <laughs> verdict, <laughs> where were you when this happened? What an image! Mm -hmm. Golly, my God! Trump ruined his fucking life, man. <laughs> And like, for what, dude? Look at you, you pathetic <sighs> fool. You, you tool. You pawn. And look at what it got you. <laughs> look what it got you, man. $150 million you owe now. You're fucked. <laughs> and you know what? 
You deserve every fucking thing's coming your way, you loser bitch. Somebody in the chat just said, Google Rudy Giuliani's lawyer's haircut. You guys are not tough. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> okay. Look at your, look at you, man. You didn't have to do any of this. You could have just. Interesting uh, eye color there. It looks like cataract. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, it's a beautiful color, though. Definitely a nice hazel. Yeah. For sure. He would probably be ruling class. <laughs> <laughs> but like he could have just not ever done any of this how easy would that have been if you're just like no thanks you know you could have done commentary on Fox probably got paid a couple hundred thousand a year mm -hmm. but now look at what's become of you man look at you this is you guys are not so tough close I can see little hairs this is incredibly detailed oh my god you don't find pictures this detailed. Yeah, though. why is it so detailed? Look at everything. It's <laughs> a like good camera, man. Here? Like pools of sweat in his pores are very visible. Uh, Dude, look at everything. This is pretty. <laughs> I don't know about looking Wait, at this. Wait, no way. <laughs> Hold on. The hair dye is highlighting the This should not pores. be available to us in, in such detail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a great camera. <laughs> Impressive. It's really yeah. something. Yikes. <laughs> I can see every pore. <laughs> <gasps> That's crazy. Oh so foul. All right, I'm trying to find a better picture, but I did find one, and <laughs> I, I assume this is the person they're talking about. I'm trying to find a better angle here. Emma but... said, I'm literally eating. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is we have sick. to, we can't look away, people. We have to look at what's <laughs> happening. Um, I can't see his haircut, though. If that, it doesn't look crazy. I mean, it just looks like a normal haircut from that perspective. Well, it looks like it, it stops about halfway <laughs> <laughs> through his head. I'm trying to find a different uh, angle, but mm. this is looking kind of wild. <clears throat> this um, looks oh, intriguing. If you guys want to help support him, <laughs> you can. At uh, <laughs> use code Rudy. <laughs> Wait, he never at even said the pillow, URL. Uh, Great products at reasonable prices. Oh, at mypillow.com. Use code Rudy. New sandals, guys, $50. Regular price was 80 so we're seeing slash, slash, slash those prices. $30 off. When do you ever get that deal? Never. Rudy, guys. Code Rudy. Thank you. Thank you. If there's one person we didn't need a close-up of, <laughs> definitely our boy. Um, okay, one I'm more thing. <clears throat> we really, uh, we really need to do this PowerPoint or we're going to yeah. run out of time. Well, well, I have one more thing. Okay. Uh, but actually yeah, we can skip this one. So we'll wait for Ela to come back, I guess. Right. Uh, sure. I'm ready for it. We've got a bunch of, uh, donos I can sure, read in do the that. meantime. Yeah. Uh, are these new ones that are in the... The dono channel? Yeah. Okay. I can paste them in the main chat. Uh, Ayo! Barry says, Ayo! Been watching for years. I'm so glad to finally be a member. Thank you guys for making me feel less lonely. Hey, Big fellas, ups! This is what we got going on over here. <laughs> hey! Hey, fellas! God. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Surge donated uh, 23 .99 euros and said, The last studio show of the year. Th thank you for all the content. Please greet uh, Kookie. And Kika. <laughs> Love. Kuki and Kika. I, I think I'm saying those right. The Kuki Surge? And Kika. The Surge, Dan? Is it oh. The Surge? Uh, well, it's S E R G. Surge? <coughs> Surge. From System of a Down? Uh, no, not spelled the same, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else we got here? A $50 one. Oh, I'll get that one next. Uh, $50 one here. Life is looking mucho gusto glum right now, and my happiest moments are chilling high with the H3 crew. Let's go. Ethan, please make my year and hit me with the keep on pushing Kyla Jenny. Love y'all. Keep on pushing Ky Kylie Jenny? Uh-huh. Does she have a sound? Or uh, Kyla, uh, Kyla Jean. It's Kyla Jean. Keep going, she, Kylie Jenner. She wants me to say, <laughs> keep on pushing? Keep pushing. Keep going. Is she giving birth? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, keep Maybe. pushing. Keep on pushing, girl. You got this. Keep pushing. Whatever yeah, it is. You're pushing it. You uh, got and there's a, a hundred dollar dono here from uh, Nerdy Sad uh, saying, I lost both of my parents last year. And watching that is the show, sad. 
gave me something to look forward to that I knew it would make me laugh even on the hard days. Uh, thanks for another great year, and you guys are amazing. I hope everybody has a happy holidays, peace and love. Thank you so much. Sorry for your loss, and I'm glad we could uh, we could give you some comfort when you're feeling when you're feeling down. Yeah, it's almost like they're when you watch this show. It's almost like you know they're alive again. Like nothing. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if I quite caught that, but Zach, <laughs> Zach is. I laughing. was just doing a stupid joke. I was trying to be silly. Well, <laughs> trying to make you light. got Zach. I was trying to make light of a terrible this is like situation. A dark as shit. <laughs> I thought I heard Ducky cry. I said. No, Zach laughing, <laughs> but I almost hit the button because there's crickets out here. <laughs> this, I think this it just poor, went over my head. This poor person said, uh, "I lost my parent. Both my parents in your show, you know, comforts me." And I said, "It's almost like they're both alive again." <laughs> okay, that's uh, yeah. That's I didn't probably. say like. I said almost like. It's almost as good <laughs> as like, having your parents almost. back alive. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, that's really sad. What the hell? I'm just trying my best out here, you guys. You know, it's yeah. a, it's a very it's a, it's horrible as you can imagine. But we do that. We 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 yeah. offer that service to even the what happened the most downtrodden. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. What happened to the parents? <laughs> that wasn't included. No? <laughs> that info was not included. <clears throat> but you know, when when I get these really dramatic uh, <laughs> messages, you gotta hit it with some levity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody said, great joke, very British. Thank you. Very That's British, what I was going British, for. British uh, humor there. <laughs> that is exactly what I was going for. Somebody said, oh, brother. That's how I'm feeling. Oh, brother. Not that bad. This is a good joke. <laughs> I guarantee whoever left that comment is laughing. Yeah. They understand. I hope so. I hope so. They are. On, they, they are I'm sure of it. If I'm not, sure you can charge it. back the money. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. It's YouTube's problem. <laughs> I encourage everybody to charge back. <laughs> I just thought, you know what I mean? Just charge back, guys. <laughs> Keep your money, please. Maybe they will. Um, Maybe it they might will. be fraud, I don't know. But. Uh, a $50 donation from Undead Mummy, which was the person that made the stop motion Oh, animation. we love you. Uh, oh, my God. The requested collab with Bees <coughs> from Space is out. God bless. Right. Uh, maybe that was sent before we uh, watched mm. it and they were trying to bring some attention to it. Um, thanks for the donation. You shouldn't be sending us money, though, Undead Mummy. Yeah. You said in your video you don't have a job. Charge it back, bro. Charge it back, please. Which is criminal. But thank you, you again. That, it, it was incredible. Charge it back. Such a talent. Dude, I love that video. I would watch it, a whole movie. It was so emotional for me and honestly really moving and beautiful. Yeah. Like, I really loved it. Really did. All right, we got something else, or should we do the the PP? Big bomba class. Uh, I think what we really give me head. So get to go to the what to give me head. What the fuck, pussy? Pussy turned red. Gymnastics. Now the pussy dead. Happy Galagwan, but me up the side. Thank you. I got my whole family on uh, M dot R. That's the whole thing. So, um, serious question: Are we ordering food or not? Because we we we, we need to. Yeah. It will be. Well, nobody's Too taking late. the nobody's taking the initiative on this one, so I guess I mean I can't do it. What are you craving? I think that's the whole up. I don't, don't want to do the whole hubbub. Just if you guys do want, just just mm. decide and tell me what you guys want. Right. Otherwise, otherwise I'll decide. I mean, we can we can. Yeah, send send options. We cannot. In the chat. Yeah, that's fine. You know. I'm hearing. All right, decision's been made. All right, so let's get to the power play. Let's do it. Matt Reif, literally F you, like what the F is wrong with you, bud? <laughs> that is the name of the PowerPoint. <laughs> Next slide. God, look at his face. He's so plastic surgeryed up. Literally. Mm, yeah, Wait, do we show the... Space in this oh, we picture. read it. <coughs> Bro looks like... I really see it. He looks like that. Jesus, man. And I guess, you know, whatever, plastic surgery, God bless, do what you need to. Does he deny that he has plastic surgery, though, or is he... Yes. He does deny he it. He says it, he's only had his teeth done. Bro, stop. <laughs> right there, was a, there was a plastic surgeon who made a, like, uh, a video saying that he gave someone, like, the best chin plant in Hollywood, and then he immediately got canceled, and people were speculating it was Matt. 
And supposedly Matt responded to that. He did. Yeah, I he saw comment, the comment. That was so embarrassing for him. He left a comment being like, I'm pretty sure that uh, revealing a patient's info is illegal, doc. Mm. And I was like, he did not say your name. You're the idiot. Yeah, you volunteered that. <laughs> he thinks that he has the nicest chin in Hollywood, so everyone will know it's him. Although, to be fair, as a doctor, that is definitely out of oh, pocket. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That is super unethical. Especially wow. if he's like a Hollywood doctor. Who's going to want to go to him? Dude, you're, you're a doctor, man. You're That's like... He violated his HIPAA rights. What's next? You're going to start stripping for us in the uh, conference room? <laughs> 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 I mean, come on, man. Get your shit together. You're a doctor. <laughs> Act like it. We, we, uh, we expect our doctors to be pure professionals. I don't like when they try to get silly and they're like, you want some fucking teeth? Like, our, <laughs> no, doc our doctors need to be all busy. Yeah, I agree. Do not, like, I don't want my jo my doctor making jokes. No, fuck no. Small talk. Mm -hmm. No. What about your dentist? Or TikToks. I don't want doctor TikToks. Except for Dr. Ids, right? Right. Well, our he's, resident what, TikTok your, doctor. Your, your guy who is on TikTok that you love? He pres... <laughs> <laughs> this is, he presents himself in a professional manner. He's serious. He does it as a, he speaks as a doctor. Right. Okay. He's not out there being like, shout out to the fat fuck who uh, I was measuring their, I was observing their diet. Shout out to that big fatty. It's like, no. Yeah, that would be pretty that's, wild. That'd be crazy to write. Damn. <laughs> if I were anyway. as hot as Matt Reif thought. <coughs> He's he not was. that hot. My life would be so much better, I feel like. I don't understand this whole thing where it's like, oh, everyone just likes him because he's hot. It's like, this guy? You know, he made that narrative. He's he's a handsome guy, but he did yeah, make he's that handsome. his he's handsome. thing. Yeah. He's handsome, but like, his face. This picture is not great. <laughs> is not everything. Right. It's not. Yeah. But For anyway. a guy who talks about how he gives everything, he's not really giving everything. And again, we love everyone, how they look. We, we, we love looks. We mm -hmm. love looks of all types. Mm -hmm. And um, But he, again, he's the guy that goes, I'm Mr. Handsome. He's even sa said shit unironically for him to be like, you know, as a handsome dude, people think that it's so easy to do comedy for me. I was like, mm -hmm. bitch, what the fuck did you just say? Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing funnier than being like, I'm handsome, like unironically. That's just corny. You know, if you're actually good looking, just ignore that shit, bro. You don't bring it up, you mm -hmm. know, just be happy. Yeah. And don't pretend like it's a downfall. That's so embarrassing. Use he, your pretty privilege if you have it and you clearly think you do. Embarrassing is the best word to describe Matt Reif. Yeah. And it's incredible, the arc, because I went from apathetic to basically maybe even almost liking him, thinking like he's pretty talented, to being like, this is the most embarrassing man <laughs> yeah, just you in wait. Hollywood. If you, you could even say he's in Hollywood, I don't know. But anyway, let's go. Okay. So, if you go back, I'll just explain really quickly who everybody is. We know Matt Reif. Brooke Schofield is um, Tana's best friend and podcast co-host. Um, we know who Tana Mojo is. Next. R real quick, is Brooke the one we saw at that restaurant that one time? Yes. Uh, yes, she is. Okay. Yes. We also mm. met Brooke and Tana at the Streamies. Okay, right, right, yeah. right, right. Did I meet Brooke? Yes, you did. Oh. is she? Uh, so, she's a friend of the show. Yeah, I mean, we walked, we got sliders for a second. Oh, we had a slide. You guys shared a slider moment? Yeah, well, you and Tana were talking. We just got burgers Hi, Brooke. and then came back. We love hey, you, girl. Brooke, love you, girl. We're on your side. Mm -hmm. Oh, big time Always. on your side. All day, all day, all day. <laughs> and I don't watch the, their podcast a lot, but she's like this super nice. Oh, I watch, yeah, <laughs> Incredibly everyone. nice. Super kind. Yeah. She grants people a lot of grace. What's mm -hmm. her deal? What, she has a podcast with Tana. Is she a comedian? Is she? Uh, she's hilarious. She's funny. Yeah. yeah. She's Just to make it even worse, you know, she's this yeah, super she nice person. Yeah. How did they end up together? Do we know? Who like, Tana and Brooke? Yeah. Oh, that story is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they met. Met. They were like through friends, but Tana dropped a story time on her okay. like years ago when uh, they had like a little fight. Where they both were interested in the same guy. They like hooked up with the same guy, and people mm -hmm. found her. I remember watching it, and like I was curious. So I was like, "Who is it?" <coughs> um, but they found her, and yeah, and then oh. they became besties again. And everybody like knows that story, the origin <coughs> story. Interesting. This is the most obnoxious photo. Like, look at his face. I can't stop. Look, like, bro, <laughs> chill. What the fuck, man? Anyway, go on. Okay, so a quick brief about Matt Reif, in case anybody in the audience doesn't know, he's the worst. Um, he came out with a comedy special last week. In it, he made fun of domestic violence survivors. Then um, on top of that, he 
posted on his Instagram story saying, if you were offended by that, click this link. And it linked to special needs helmets. So then he beefed with a six-year-old and told the six-year-old that his mom, who does not have an OnlyFans, which there's nothing wrong with that, but he was like, your mom only makes money from OnlyFans. So. Well, the fact that she doesn't makes it even, even like worse. more like, what the fuck, bro? Weirdo. Like all women have OnlyFans who are successful online. Is that yeah. like, it's just weird. This this beefing with the eight year old is shit is nuts or six year old sorry yeah. six, the six year old by the way we've talked about this uh, on the show, the six year old was right, yeah Saturn is the ring with was the planet with rings, you can't go back and be like oh yeah well uh, you know uh, Jupiter also has rings yeah so fucking what it's not the ring planet you know it's not the kid's right dude you were you used the wrong planet bitch. You could probably say any planet has a ring. I mean, you know, Earth probably has a ring of asteroids. You know, we are calling it a ringed planet. Does Earth have a ring? Google that shit. I bet it does. Uh, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Did you Google it? No. Okay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so let me. It has so, a art, uh, probably uh, an artificial ring of satellites. <laughs> Maybe you could here. really, really, really want to stretch the definition. Here it is. Sat here, this is just is my first thing from NASA.gov. Maybe you've mm. heard of them. Saturn <laughs> is a funny looking planet. True. It's not the only planet with rings. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune have rings too. But Saturn's ring are the biggest and brightest. So if you're making a joke about rings, hello. It's right yeah. there. Saturn's Earth, right there. Earth the, the mat. Dumbass. The kid had a point. Definitely. Absolutely. A great point. He made many points. Also, the kid, he has like a hobby. He's like a, he's into astronomy and stuff. So like. You can trust him. Yeah, dude. Kids know all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he's had a rough, uh, he's had a rough past few weeks of right. being a douche. So speaking of the canceled <laughs> podcast last week talked about his cancellation. Dude, that thumbnail is so good. It looks like he's there. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, so they were talking about his cancellation, and they got a little bit of heat because they were kind of defending him. They were like, we know him in real life. They, were, they weren't going as hard as the internet wanted, and so they got a lot of flack for that. And so thus brought about Brooke telling the story of her relationship with Matt Reif. Okay. Because she she didn't want Tana especially was like I don't want anyone to think that I'm a Matt Rife apologist because I fucking hate him because he oh. sucks and he was the worst to my best friend so like yeah this episode was was big everybody go leave your leave like love for them slay um okay so Brooke reveals she'd been talking about on the podcast they have like names code names for guys that they're seeing or friends that they have and so his name was mr dc i have to go back and watch it now knowing who it is but who, why um, mr dc do we know yes he would he would always say like we're gonna run away to dc together huh? like that was his thing dc yeah i don't know but um so the way it went down was they were together at the Scrapper. beginning of last year um, it wasn't no 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 stay there um <laughs> it wasn't serious uh or it they weren't boyfriend girlfriend, but apparently Brooke says that he did not want her seeing other people. So it, it was more than just hooking up, but they weren't exclusive. <coughs> um, Brooke would travel for his shows. She would like go across the country to see him. And then once he was done with tour, she explained that he came home and like he wasn't really like hitting her up he wasn't mm -hmm. as like into it and she just felt like a little bit embarrassed by that mm -hmm. and so she stuck up for herself and she was like hey you're not giving me enough attention like it's not it's not really fair and he politely told her like i'm too busy right now mm -hmm. and that's how their relationship had ended mm -hmm. so they were a couple yes they were dating yeah comes back he doesn't have time for her when he comes back he's not he's barely talking to her Right, well, not enough said, yeah. to be in a relationship. And, and they're neighbors. So he could have easily <gasps> That's seen That's really awkward. <laughs> yeah. And, but then he, you said he politely tells her. Yes, she does say that um, which is, she felt good about it. Okay, which is fair. It's yeah. like, sorry, I'm just, I'm so busy, you know. Yeah. And, it's fair. Okay, so moving on. That seems fine. Everything so, is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> so the too busy is a yellow flag. But we found out it's a red flag because after they broke up, he got a girlfriend. So he was not too busy. Mm. Um... Next. Is what is, it, well, hold on. Unpack that. Well, he said, I don't have any time 
to dedicate to a girl, and then he did. So like he right just, after. He started dating someone? Yeah, he's, he's with someone right now. Same person? Yeah, he's been with the same person since, well, we don't know. I don't want to get there yet. But what was he the dated, time span? He started dating this girl very soon after Brooke and How very much soon time? after other girls too. Um, I think I don't want to give a definite. Maybe like a month, two. A month. Yeah. Things can clear up in a month or two. <laughs> Things could. You know. <laughs> it's they true. could. They could. I'm just trying. You know, I'm trying to give everyone. But the... he wanted to run away to DC. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. I don't yeah. think they're running away to DC. I don't think thing. they're running away to DC. Nobody runs away to DC. <laughs> Everyone runs away. Nobody wants to be there. Everyone's running away. Run, yeah, from Congress. <laughs> What's he planning on doing? Storming fucking Congress? Yeah, you freak. Running to DC? Jesus, man. Background check. Literally. So, Exhibit B. Okay. This is the craziest thing I have ever heard. So. There's this podcast. It has since been like totally taken off the internet. You couldn't like, find a clip? No. Ooh. He like completely wiped it after people <laughs> obviously got mad at him for saying this. He went on Stiff Socks podcast and he was asked what, it, this is just the first offense, not even that bad. He was asked, what's your type? He was oh, I seeing, saw that. Hold on. We got to be able to find that clip. She, it's wiped. I really did look. There, dude, we, there, this is the internet. We got, I saw it. Mm. It was making its rounds. It's got to be on TikTok or Instagram Reels or something like that. Those are hard to enforce. Maybe A, A B, and yeah. Someone love. look for that. Yeah, yeah look. For I'll that. explain. But go ahead. What happened? So they were dating at the time that he went on this podcast. They were together the night before. He's asked, "What's your uh, what's your type?" He it's totally fine. He says, "Fake tits and blonde hair," which Brooke is like. I thought that that was weird, just because I have brown hair and yeah. like I don't have fake tits, but like it's just. She, she said, you know what, that's okay. Then he goes on to articulate that a vagina that makes him feel disgusted and he explained pretty much her anatomy, which is like 90% of girls what? have- He said this. Yeah. He said, girls with Audi vaginas are disgusting. They, what? He, he, and he was like really super said, mean about it. They Ew. look like God left the tag on them. What? I don't know what that means. Just, yeah, oh my God. So anyway, it was yeah. really gross That's and so horrific. upsetting. So yeah, Brooke like describes- Like super misogynistic, like really nasty. Can you fucking imagine? It's actually mega, it's, not even, it's like mega misogyny. It's like gross, That's bro. That's disgusting. <laughs> and I, I, has this dude ever been with a girl? I feel like it's one of like the most common insecurities from girls is like, Sorry, well, especially because in, in like porn videos, everybody's got their stuff all pretty because, you know, there's surgeries you can do. Apparently, that's, I, I, dude, that blows my mind. There's surgeries, yeah. I guess, that porn stars do where they so remove it, the Yeah, so it makes extra skin. Um, people with natural the girl with stuff we feel, found it. feel very insecure. <coughs> we found it, though. Same. So here he is. It, he's really vile when you talk talking Thanks. here. See, I'm like, yo, that's pretty close. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to fuck you or thumb wrestle? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, both. To, honestly, uh, I don't. I don't wrestle. love. I don't love a giant clip. I don't want. I don't oh, want. Talking about now clip. he's like, yo, fuck bro, the You gotta clip. stop. He's talking now about giant clits to make him disgusted too. Like, bro, just go fuck this dudes. Then I don't have to tell you, man. Disgusting. Can you check Discord real quick, Ethan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can say that. Okay. Yeah. Just because the, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys are saying, has a clip? Should we watch hers? I, I don't think... It, it was just somebody in chat when you were looking dude, if it's where to find it. Basically. If he tries to remove it, I'm game, you know what I mean? That's Yeah, I Brooke that was show. saying that he he's like, he gets it wiped. Matt, please, come, you know what I mean? Come for me. I love that shit. That's what I live for. So I'm gonna the watch the fucking clip, and you're not gonna do shit about it, bitch. Dumbass. That's a clip. I'm like, yo, that's pretty close. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to fuck you or thumb wrestle? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, both, to, uh, honestly. What the hell? I don't. I don't love. I don't love a, a giant clip. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to look down and feel like they're like. Like God left a tag on you. I just don't want your pussy That's to look disgusting. like the gum from uh, uh, sausage party. You know what I mean? You know? Dude. That's disgusting. To say that on camera, it's, it's not funny, it's just super mean. It's yeah. so mean. 
Oh my god. Yeah, it's really gross. He fucked up. He. Fu- oh, okay, girl, go off. We love you. Literally. So, and then she, Brooke, that's her name. Yeah. She said, bravely, she admit. Uh, I'm sure it was. It's embarrassing to talk about for her, but mm-hmm. she said, "I have an Audi." Mm-hmm. Queen, wear it proudly. Your it's, beauty. But can you imagine that? Like, they were together the night before, and then he goes, "I hate nasty Audi." That's vaginas. unbelievable. Absolutely disgusting. What are you? This guy's dead to me. Dead to me. <laughs> dead to me. Yeah, it's psycho behavior. This is worse than anything else he's done yeah. so far or said. So, next, at this point, he goes on the what canceled podcast. And he and Brooke, um, I don't know like where in their relationship this is, but this is after the Stiff Socks pod, uh, uh, podcast. And Tana explained in the most recent episode that she wanted to grill him so badly. Mm. But Brooke was like, no, it's fine. And um, so when he went on, he pretended like he had never met Brooke <gasps> ever. Like he was so cold. He like, what? yes. And she explains like, <laughs> I did not understand why he was looking at me like he had never met me in my life. And like, she got so much shit for that episode. People were like, Brooke is being such a, like, so mean and cold toward Matt. Uh, and it was actually because <laughs> they were dating. Yeah. And <laughs> he just refused to acknowledge that. Wait, they yeah. were dating at the time he came on? I'm not positive if they had broken up or if, um, it sounds like whatever maybe... it was, they were on good terms because they ended when she felt good about it. So either way, so he it sounds to me shook... like they weren't dating at the right. time. Sorry. I guess it's a bit. Huh? What happened? Someone say something. Oh, never mind. Hmm? <laughs> what were you gonna say, love? I, 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 my understanding was that he like shook her hand. I was looking and for herself. it, and I think oh. I, I looked for oh, it. Oh, they didn't say that. It. Maybe oh, okay. they, okay. they did say it. They said he introduced, but oh, I couldn't okay. find that. Okay. <laughs> what a weirdo. So that was off camera who was pretending like he didn't know her? No, I'm sure he he was on it was on camera. So then can we find the clip of him shaking I, her hand? Okay, maybe that, that I was I don't know. Just I, I looked for it. I I watched the pod. I don't know. Um Exhibit D. Are we ready for Exhibit D? Yeah. Okay. Exhibit D. This is uh last week. So this is after um his cancellation. She was on TikTok. And she saw this slideshow that someone had made of uh, Matt Reif and some girl, not his girlfriend that he has now. And Brooke was like, huh. She was looking through the comments and she saw the girl in those photos had commented, guys, chill out. This was the beginning of the year. And Brooke was like, wait, I was dating him at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So she DM'd this girl and she was like, hey, what's up? Like, what, what, what was the timing like? And she immediately put her into a group chat with other girls he had dated Whoa. and they all like oh had God. screenshots that like he he wanted to take them all to dc the dc he literally the like he's gonna have to get a bus not the dc the thing, DC thing? <laughs> yeah oh i don't know God. this man loves the capital okay he must have had some shtick with where he thought it was funny and romantic or something there's like some joke about it yeah i guess yeah that he just he hot. just used the same line on everybody so there's a whole Matt Rife support group formed, and they're about to charter a bus to D.C. Literally. Okay, if you go to the next line. A whole ass bus. Exhibit E. Yeah, so, um, Exhibit E. Uh, there were, she said that there were Venn diagrams, screenshots, everything was the same, like, pretty much. He was copy and pasting, like, he had a lot of time. That's he was talking to a lot of girls. That, mm. Dude, I hate when the, that's so gross. I can't believe we do that where they just like have five girls and then just mass send the same message. That's that's like so cynical. It's psychotic. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, that's like what the Tinder swindler type of behavior. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how little do you have to care about them to be to do that? Yeah. It's like really, really quite psychotic. This seems to happen a lot with comedians that are touring. Dude, what? Dude, I think like, there's a... It seems a lot. to me that a lot of these people who become comedians do it because of the, they want oh. because they want to sleep with lots of women. Hometown, possibly? Not right. Well, if you're scared of what 99% no, of vaginas look like, yeah, you're... Chat, you're wrong. <laughs> they're trying to waste options. 
He needs <laughs> lots of options. Yeah. yeah. At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. Facts. What, uh, what were you saying, Olivia, about the hometown? Oh, someone in chat said it was his hometown, but I looked it up. He's from Ohio. Oh. Columbus, Ohio. Ohio grew boy. up in North oh, Lewisburg, yeah. Ohio. They're mean. I love them. White boy, white boy. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, exhibit F. After all of this happened and she was put in the group chat, she decided she wanted to have closure and send him a little thing, just be like, hey, I just think it's funny that, like, I'm defending you and you, you were horrible to me. And the message turned green, meaning either he got a new number or he blocked her number. Wait, what the fuck am I looking at? This is an iMessage. This that's, is not an that's iMessage. That's what happens when uh, you get blocked, is the text bubble will turn green. But what's the, with the text? This is not an i image? Is that a stand? Is that... That's just I, from Google stock. I wanted to show you what it, what it looked oh, like. Oh, okay. You mm -hmm. made just an image. example. Yeah. yeah. So she saw the bubble turn green. green. I mean, he could have yeah. changed his phone. It's true. Or she said maybe um, he like respects his girlfriend, so blocked all those numbers. That could mm -hmm. be. Could be. I can see a girl, especially with a tomcat like him, you know, saying block, block him. Okay. Um, and page six posted that he cheated on her with 20 women and Brooke tweeted out, no, I, that's actually not what I said. So, uh, YouTuber Brooke Showfield claims ex Matt Rife cheated on her with 20 women before blocking her number. And they just made that up. They like hyperbolized her her story for sure. Also, they left out the worst part. Him going on that podcast was mm -hmm. the most disgusting thing any any boyfriend has ever done. Mm -hmm. This guy who's like a serial cheater and sleeping around a ton, like, are you just in horror every time you have sex? <laughs> like, how are how are you doing that? Yeah. I hate women, bro. They're so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Okay. Um, and also, guess what? Little tidbit. He facetunes his dick pics. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, what? So, <laughs> oh, I, so he, yeah. been, he sends dick pics. So they had told a story <laughs> on the pod a few months ago. And Brooke was like, did you fucking know? Hold on. Somebody, sorry. Somebody's saying they were not boyfriend, girlfriend. Brooke said. They weren't exclusive. Okay. But, but they which were... means that he didn't cheat on her. That's why she's saying he didn't cheat on me. So, so is it possible they're just casual hookups, though? No, she said no. She, but she said they weren't dating. So what? It's yeah, it's a weird exclusive. in between thing. It sounded okay. pretty serious, yeah. not just like I I, I don't know. I, in, in my mind, it's hard to reconcile serious and non-committed. She was know. on his tour for a very long time, right? With him? No? I don't know about that. No, okay. I know that Maybe she yeah. went and saw his shows. She would, Many she would visit times. to see him. Yeah. It's, okay. I guess not multiple. I think we're getting a little sidetracked. I need to hear about this Facetune dick. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah. We need to circle back to that. <laughs> okay, so they told a story on the podcast a couple months ago where Brooke was like, did you know that if you fucking have a photo that you Facetune and you save it from that, the file name of the photo will be like facetune.jpg or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so she was looking at, at one of his uh, prizes that he sent her and it said facetune.jpg <laughs> or whatever. I, I've never oh used Facetune. God. Is it possible that it's just he opens the camera and it's loaded no, it's up? It, no. You have to 100%. open the app. Yeah. Yeah. That's also, awesome. like, go for it, girl. Like, dude, face turn. That, it's just funny. Face tune that cock, brother. Probably <laughs> yeah. good. Be more slick about it. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't even think about something. Like, I've never crazy. sent a dick pic in my life because I've. I mean, well, we weren't if, if, at this age of. We were pre <laughs> dick pic. <laughs> yeah. But even if I was single and dating, like, I would never put that on. Like, bro, you, when you send a dick pic. You're basically showing the world your cock. Like that's that's what's that's where that's going. Yeah. Because you can never unsend that dick pic. Now there's now it's out of your hands. Mm -hmm. you well, know? at least it was stunning. Probably he <laughs> he made it beautiful. Nice tuned up. Yeah. I, I need a dick pic app. Face dick dick tune. 
where Thank it makes you. it look a little bigger and a little nicer. But not too much. Not too much. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick. Dude, we need a dick tuning app. That could be a good money maker. I love sharks. <laughs> Literally, bring it to Shark Tank. It's kind of a good idea. Uh, Mr. Wonderful would go well, crazy. It she like trims your pubes. <laughs> it's only, yeah. Only dudes would care about it because no girl cares about dick pics, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's, no. that's what I understand of it, but, yeah. but, um, like I said, I've never, I've never experienced that, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also funny mm. that he had so much to say about her vagina. You're fixing yourself up. Uh, yeah, your yeah. dick is clearly not, uh, camera ready. Not even up to his, <laughs> get that bitch in hair and makeup. <laughs> All right, Seriously. Ready? Final slide. That's awesome, though. I love that detail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In conclusion, fuck you, Matt Reif. Like, literally, what the fuck is wrong with you? Also, Brooke, you are perfect. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow. Sucks. What a journey. Yeah, he sucks. Is there any clips we can watch of her talking about it or them shaking hands or anything to supplement? The, you just I want really, to see what the dynamic I'm looks like? Yeah. Looking. Here, I, 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 can, I, I want more. I can get the link to when he was on their pod. And uh, pre he was like pretending not to know her. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the, I don't think there's a handshake, but you can watch it. Mm. There it is, Matt Reif. Let's get the vibe. How old is he? I know he's like, or I mean, no, he's not that young. I did made that mistake before. He's like 28, right? Yeah, I think he was around 30 from what I remember. Yeah, 28. 28. That's too old to be talking like that. That's too old. Maybe if you're 18 and you're like oh, just a dumb, stupid teenager and you've never had like sex, maybe, and you're just like a you like, don't know anything all you've about seen women. Is born, maybe. Yeah, you, exactly. But at 28, and especially for somebody who sleeps around. Yeah. <laughs> this is Matt when he lines up all the vaginas in a row. <laughs> This man, at R. Kelly, nobody does it. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Did it go down for a minute? Apparently. Huh. Yeah. That happened the other day, too, where it just like kind of randomly mm -hmm. dropped out for a minute. I'm not sure. YouTube is so fucked. Like, the viewership bouncing around is super annoying, man. What happened? It, it, it jumps, like, between 10,000 difference in viewers constantly jumping around. Like, fix your shit, guys. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm looking at, um, I'm trying to see if our internet dropped out for a second or something. Big ball, I'm not big ball, seeing big anything. Big I think it is on the YouTube end. But they're also kind of gassing you. you know, well, yeah, they're, I'm like, thanks. Their shit is shitty. That's shitty. So Sorry, here, people. Sorry, folks. This from this timestamp, Olive? Yeah. Yeah. So here. Because you, no, 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 from the beginning. Oh, from the top. Okay. You can just like watch her be like, what the fuck? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, ready. Did we talk Help. on the show about how Matt Reif was trying to come on our show a while ago and I didn't know who he was and I passed? I don't believe we did. Oh, I, think I was, didn't know that. I think it was after the show we talked about it. He, do you have that email, uh, Dan? Um, it was, we, we were trying to get Theo Vaughn back on and his manager said, uh, not right now, but what about Matt Reif? Mm -hmm. I said no. <laughs> You I was did. like, who the fuck is that? I don't care about Matt Rife. Like, he looks like he treats women poorly. <laughs> so I was ahead of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, no, 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 Matty boy. <laughs> Not on my show, bucko. No. Um, no. Just so you know, Matt, I said no to you. <laughs> you did not say no to me. Here it is. Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. We have the world's most requested guest today. We really do. The most cancelable guest. This is, this is perfect. It's so fitting. I'm so excited to dive into everything, sincerely. You, I think we could easily get Oprah on the podcast. That's clearly not true. Mm. Yeah. He's very he's very willing to go on any show. Mm. I mean, I said no to him, by the way. Yeah. I have not rejected Oprah. <laughs> um, nor would I. Maybe I would. Maybe I'll be like, why is Oprah? What do I want to talk to Oprah about? No, pass. <laughs> about Harvey Weinstein. I'll pass on Oprah. That would be the weirdest show ever. Um, he was really on top of the world here. Yeah. It, it really, really was. 
Possibly. Is she even doing TV anymore? Is she still working? What's she doing? What is Oprah up to? She's on billboards all over Hollywood right now. She's selling a network. Bro, I know what she's doing. She's selling um, cauliflower crust pizzas, dude. (laughs) She's changing the world. One cauliflower pizza crust at a time. Yeah, she posted yesterday for Tina Turner. Mm. Ri- well, yeah. Matt Rife is here. And I'm really hoping you get canceled today and not me. And I'm starting that off like. Good luck. I wake up every single day somebody trying to cancel me. So Absolutely. Try your best. The thing, I feel like every time you try to go on a podcast, or every time you do go on a podcast, like we have some stupid ass shit. talk situation. Are we allowed to talk about that? Um, I mean, can what, if you want what did to. she say? Okay. The what? She mind. said the stiff sock situation, and he said we can, and then they brush right over it, and they don't even talk about it. Oh, yeah. Watch, this is a weird moment. He looks. He's so do you hate women? After that. Yeah. Uh, no, I hate cancel culture. <laughs> hate Candace, you hate I don't women? support anybody who even believes oh, in really? cancel culture. I, neither do we. we Nobody believes in cancel culture. Nobody. Podcast. I think yeah. it's brilliant. Someone Nobody's like <laughs> I'm pro cancel culture. That person does not exist. Um, and I. I hadn't huh. seen. Oh, so sorry. Dan, Dan Brady. I'm standing up. I'm up. taking the stand. <laughs> it, like cancel culture happens when a bunch of like-minded people uh, get into a frenzy and do everything they can to ruin somebody's life, and everybody does it. Okay. So, you're not better, Matthew. Um, I hadn't seen this. Brooke yesterday posted a like photo dump and the last one was a screenshot of a text that said Brooke This is MF like Matt Reif mm. and she just sent back the helmet link <laughs> Hold on. Let's see <coughs> Brooke is out here Brooke. This is MR This man really fuck who even oh he reached out to that. her mm-hmm. And she hit him back that maybe was, <laughs> was he trying to be discreet in case she posted this Probably. <laughs> For the record, it could have been M dot R. The rapper. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they said they want the gimme head. 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 They want the head. When the fuck pussy, pussy turned red. Gymnastics. Now the pussy dead. Okay. I love, I love her reply. That's so funny. Yeah. And in case the audience missed the other day, that was his story. When he was getting canceled, he posted that. Special needs link. He's like, for anyone mad at my special, and then he posted this link. So she was hitting him back with his own joke. Mm-hmm. <coughs> wow. Queen. <coughs> I wonder what he wanted to talk to her about. Yeah, that's such a weird message. Brooke, this is MR. Are we sure this isn't Mitt Romney? Like, okay. <laughs> could be. Could be. There. I mean, yeah, MR certainly could be a mm. whole lot of people. That's all he sent her. You see, that was 10 a.m., and she replied in the evening. Hit him. She waited all day. That's like. It's like, well, do you want to say something? Say it. He probably wants to get on the phone call. He doesn't want to write anything. Yeah. Uh, he wants to get on the phone call and say, like, yo, can we deal with this? Because I'm getting a lot of heat. <laughs> you know, we're dogs, right? <laughs> well, the fact that he did reach out means he's feeling the heat. Because I don't think this guy mm-hmm. actually cares about anything. Right. Maddie boy. Telling me the other day that when they look up, like they were trying to actually look up like things I've been canceled for, but when they look up Tana canceled, the only thing that comes up is the podcast. That's, that's clever. All my, and I didn't, I'm not smart enough to think of that. Like that was not. <laughs> that's that honestly was like, clever. Like a convenient accident. That's why I did for my first special, OnlyFans. I labeled it OnlyFans because I knew so many people were Googling if I had an OnlyFans. So it Googling. drove all the traffic to the special. No, Wait, didn't. that's so smart. I, I always wondered why you did that. Mm-hmm. That's Just so marketing. fucking smart. I love to see it. Yeah, I wasn't smart enough to so they So they gloss over the whole yeah mm. they don't go back that's a shame it is that's a shame but you know what she told her story and down with matt rife oh we got chocolate <gasps> fine bros coming through thank god i was about I, I, I was about fine bros, <laughs> fine yeah. bros. <laughs> dude i can't i can't back. and sons that doesn't even the same thing fine bros well i keep calling them and bros yeah you were thinking and bros <laughs> Fine, Fine bros. <laughs> they I always start to have a pissy fit that they're not bringing enough chocolate. Me too. And Sons is back, baby, and they brought us bags. <laughs> the official chocolate. But not chocolate. like Thorn. Should we wait to eat it after our food? <laughs> no. We're going to get full on chocolate. You'll probably be hungry again by the time the food gets here. <laughs> yeah. What's the ETA? Like 10 years? <laughs> uh, I'll ask Lenny when she gets back. Are the, oh, I love those. 
Oh, puppy cab. Hey, Freddy. Oh. Ducky. Stretchy. Oh, he's so sleepy. It's hard to walk. <laughs> it's hard to walk when I'm sleepy. Oh, this is the cutest thing. Should we let him out for a bit? Free my boy. Um, well, my boy. we're about to eat chocolate. Oh, true. Keep him Maybe locked after up. after that. <laughs> lock him up. Lock him up. <laughs> oh, mama me. Oh, my dead. goodness. All right, I'm just going to have a couple of these and we'll pass them around. Okay. This Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they hooked it the Finally, they're, you get they're learning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hazelnut truffle. We got to feed a lot of mouths here. Thank you, Ann Sons. This looks good. Okay, peppermint coal truffles. Isn't that what we had last time? I think that's different? what we had, right? That mm -hmm. was the that one was that I was really going good. crazy about. And yeah. what's this one? This one is um hazelnut truffle. Yeah, hazelnut truffles, dark chocolate. I'm good. I'm not crazy about hazelnut as a flavor. Try it. Like, Nutella doesn't do that much for me. Really? No. Uh, I'm kind of with you on that. I'm not the biggest hazelnut fan. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I have some big news, mm -hmm. oh boy, for you. Go ahead. Oh. Today's a very special day. Oh boy. It's a holiday. It is. National Roasted Chestnut Day. What? Hit it. Are you serious? December 14th. Hit it. Or 15th, I guess. Oh, wait, was it yesterday? Hold on. That's your cue, Zach. Oh, no, did we miss it? Oh, no. I take it back. Cut the music. No. We missed it. It was yesterday. Oh. Uh, you were, yeah, right. Well, it's Happy birthday. Belated Chestnuts Day. Happy Belated uh, ch Roasted Chestnut Day to all not those who jelly. celebrate. <laughs> jelly, not jelly pins. Go ahead, Zach. It's, While we not, it's not Chestnut Day. Bro, oh my god, it's belated. Nah, bro. It's got to live what? Right <laughs> Jeez. You're refusing a direct order? <laughs> aye, aye. You're about to go to military uh, He's, prison. This is a mutiny, I'm You're about to be court-martialed, bro. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Oh, what a shame. Gorgeous. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, these are new. Oh, my God. Those are pretty. Wow. Such a nice presentation every time. Yeah. <laughs> It's a work of art. Oh, wait, did he be including the ones that we like? Is that possible? Because there's oh. more. Look at that. It's so Ooh. Oh, no, Whoa. look what you've done! Wow. <laughs> what a presentation. Yeah. This is the one that Love Love that I've been trying to oh, get the, my hands on. Oh, it's the three circle one? Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's, oh, that's the s'mores one. Yeah, s'mores. Mmm. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I've got graham oh, cracker yeah. in that. Oh, yeah. I wanted to try that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Mm. Oh, yeah, dude. Nice. So you guys got some too? It's oh, around. you guys have, so they really hooked us up this time. Two boxes. They gave us nice. a bunch. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. It means mm -hmm. a lot. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I want to bring so this good. home. I'm hooked. Have I had this one? A little raspberry? Oh, I see. Oh, there's jelly in this. Uh oh. You know what? I've become such a. Um, this one's kind of good. Chocolate snob. Now that really? when I get other chocolates, I'm like, mm. I agree. Mid. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> like, I bet. Why isn't Ambrose giving us free chocolate? Okay, I'm gonna try, try, this try one. one last one. This is not jelly. It's more like a. I mean, it is jelly, but it's not. Oh, it's the peanut butter jelly, isn't it? Oh, is that what that is? It's good. It's this. I just got one of those too. Nicer. That was good. Mm -hmm. It's more. It's I more know. thick. Yeah. Than like a jelly. It's not jelly. No. Oh. Those are the ones I hate when it's like, you know, it has like a mass, mm. a gelatinous mass. Mm -hmm. This is more of a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I understand you. The light blue ones are my favorite. Oh, are you far. serious? I gotta try that one. They're like dark um, caramel. 
really rich guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you eating the whole thing? He says, every time no, no. you guys get some Ansons, I go to their website to buy some and they're always sold out. <laughs> it, they're hard to get. <laughs> they're hard to get. That's crazy. Mm. Actually, so uh, if you're flying out to LA, I know uh, I've seen a decent amount of people in chat saying they're coming to LA to, um, to come to the live show. Um, instead of lining up eight hours in advance in front of uh, the venue, they have a shop here in LA, and uh, nice. they always have them there. So this might be your best chance to get some. I should clarify: stuff. we are not sponsored by them, although we <laughs> should no, be. No, no, this is an informal relationship here. Yeah. Okay. All right, we, we have, have one. the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh my I have God, to put it away because I want to eat lunch. <gasps> we got an Come exclusive. On. Oh. Come on. Wait. Oh, there's a no jelly and a jelly menu. H3 family, no jelly menu. <laughs> Bonbons, a selection of our finest jellyless bonbon. <laughs> Mocha. Oh, that's awesome. The jelly? Well, that's going in the trash. You know that about me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he made it. Oh, it, okay. That's just very like fun. The jelly one. That's just very. Fun. I did. I did. I did. You're right. Would I rather it be caramel or something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. We actually get to bring some home now. Did you have yeah. one of these, Ethan? These little, these little bowls? That's, yes. The little, did did so you try good. the other one? The black one? No, I'll try that that's one. That one is fucking... That's my favorite. Because that one was crazy. Yeah. Crazy good. The, really that one, good. I think, is my favorite chocolate they make. It's like a mint. Let's observe Dan trying this. <laughs> Dan is uh, grabbing a... Zach, do you have a soundbite for this? Dark colored ball. What? Sorry. Do you have a sound for this? <laughs> sound for what? <laughs> oh, putting your balls in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got you. But you did the whole thing. Dan put it all in his mouth. Put your just balls one bite. That's crazy. That's bald. He's nodding. He's dancing. He's feeling it. It's Christmas. <laughs> Wait, so what kind oh, of Oh, you ain't wrong. These that are so good. Crazy. So good. Yeah. The mint one. Try it. Mm. Did you try it? It's so good. I'm not actually a huge mint chocolate fan. Mm. Me neither. But that's good. Me neither. So. Oh, you haven't tried that? Love, try it. Let's see. Oh, why so? So dark. I would take half a bite. Dan's a little nuts for taking the whole thing. <laughs> but that's a huge bite. Hey, no judgment. You put your balls you're in right. your mouth. You're right. Not right now, Dan. That's good. Nice. Very complex. Poor Alfredo. He's he's looking for a. Uh, he's looking for. He's looking for a sympathetic. Yeah, uh, to you absolutely <laughs> cannot eat these chocolates. Yeah, not for you, Alfredo. That's the lid. Very fun. Um, where were we? Ducky is up and chewing on his chew. Ducky's up. Ducky's up. Just to give everybody an update. <laughs> what does this mean? Look at this. Matt Reif. People yeah. also search for Kate Beckinsale? What? They dated? Dude, that lady has a problem. Wait, is that real? Let's see. If that's true, get, Kate needs to chill the fuck out. Because she was dating Pizza Davidson. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Um, Trevor Wallace, I Jessica guess, Lord? because that's the podcast he was on when he said the nasty stuff. That guy, I get, I understand why, but uh, Kate Beckinsale, Matt Reif, Kate. Let's see, Matt Reif's dating history. Damn, Kate Beckinsale, what is she up to? She's really a uh, Robin the Cradle lately. <laughs> Look at them. That's like. What do you do? Is that some mommy issue thing, you think? Or just a hot, a MILF situation? I mean, it is one of the top categories. I mean, what was she, 50? Yeah. She's 50? And that page you just had open said that. She looks said. really young. I thought it said, <laughs> you know? but she's 50? I don't know, 50 yeah, today 50. is like... Holy smokes. She looks but that's amazing. a big age gap. It is a big age gap. 50? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she dated let's see he he dated her back when he was doing wild and out that was when he's like oh wait she he was, was 21 he was 21 that, that's a that could be a problem okay actually. that's gross. Start, that's keemstar shit that's gross that is keemstar because shit, isn't it? now he's 28 so in my head i was thinking like 50 28 but 43 21 they are, that's 21 is so young that's embarrassing yeah yeah lady and every single one says they're 21 how many 21-year-olds do you think there are in this town? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, Matt. I see you. And Kate, I see you now. <laughs> I see what you're up to, Kate Beckinsale. Uh, here is another crazy clip of his. Actually, I saw this recently. It's very good. He used to be on um, Wild and Out. And he looks like such a little dark here. This is pre-plastic uh, surgery. Um, mm. Here he is basically crossing the line big time with Zendaya and everybody uh, freaks out. Really? Here is uh, a picture of a video. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, the entire time. Did not spit a little bit. Won, won the game for her team. She turned me down. So, what, so this, I mean, he he's still like good looking, right? Yeah. I gotta say. What? He looks better. How? how well, how old is this? He's 21, bro. This is when he was 21? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his, I know what you're going to say. His chin is still pretty prominent. That's what I was going to say. And he's his, his already kind of got that square. Maybe he... Maybe he no, he it looks so different. He have a chin like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think Jesse... I guess I'd have to see it side it, by side. Let's yeah. do that. <laughs> That's Let's, looking pretty cut. Because I feel like Jesse's teeth really look very different. Well, but, his teeth are different. There's no yeah. question about yeah, that. Yeah, and he said... Uh, yeah. Olivia, you said that yeah, he... he, he admits, yeah. Right. Yeah, he got his teeth picked. Let's. But. Can you pull up a uh, that like Possible. SpongeBob mm. Squidward? Interesting. Sexy Squidward photo of him. Matt. All right. <laughs> Sexy Squidward. Everybody got their. Yeah. Chocolate. Actually, I mean, now that I'm seeing it here, well, send it so I can. There open might be it some enhancement side. here. Oh yeah, careful guys. Um, huh? Ducky's coming out, so careful with the <laughs> shot. Oh, okay. Ducky. Yay, Ducky's I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> Stinky. He does Stinky. this thing where he grooms me. It's cra he like chews on my hair. Um, there. <laughs> some of no, us I are know. having problems. Our main Discord chat, I can't enter. Oh, I just had that too. Me yeah, too. Exactly. Like, sent me the same thing. Yeah. So pull it up, Dan, on your. Yeah, Discord is on. I I'll send you it in minions. Uh, Out, Dan. Okay. Oh shit. Out. Yeah, I can pull it up. Biting. Oh, I the wrong Weird. One. This is an important. Uh, uh, well, so here is a photo of him. This is the one Ethan wants. That's. I mean, that one's pretty prominent, but yeah, let me see the other one. Um, I'm trying to find. It's like my internet picture. is tripping out. Hold on. Maybe we are having internet issues. For her team, she turned me down and talking to spit. Look, you're mixed. I want to be black. Let's here. Uh -huh. Let's make a life. I mean, here you can see the Sorry. the profile. I'm kind of curious what he's saying there. Well, they're just you're mixed. It's, they're trying to do this thing where they make each, trying to make each other laugh. I guess I don't know. Oh, okay. He okay. says you're mixed. I'm. He said I'm black. I, I want to be black. Want to be black. Uh, let's do something. Again. And talk and spit. <laughs> Look, you're mixed, dude. This you cannot be serious. Yeah, I mean, this one is crazy. Is that a real? This one like, is crazy. Is that, <laughs> is, that, is that an official photo? I don't know where did where did you source this one from? Maybe because um, that looks that looks so Photoshop. silly. Yeah. Like oh if I God. go back to here, I mean. Yeah, that's giving me the um, what's the other guy that had his chin and then he looked worse. Uh, I think it happens unfortunately somewhat frequently we to people about it on the show though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, I know who you're talking about. What's the, his name? The fucking Zac Efron. Yeah, yes, Zac Efron. Zac Efron. Uh, <coughs> Zach got the worst plastic surgery of all. Uh, you know what? I think it was from an accident. There's, so I'm not yeah. going to say anything. We and love. He has that. really bad body dysmorphia. Okay. That's true. We love Zach. We He's, beautiful. He's, He's beautiful. He's hot. He's beautiful. Thank perfect. you. Appreciate it, <laughs> <laughs> Zach. And yes, I am seeing the Discord Zach. is uh, down, so it's He's not on our end. Stuff on the floor here. Crashing. Well, my thoughts are, if he's the type of dude that edits his dick pics, then there it is. I wouldn't be surprised if he already had a nice chin, and then that's true. Exactly, yeah. that's a really good point. That's actually, a wonderful maybe. observation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The type of dude. To uh, listen, a lot of the dick. times, people who are unhappy with their looks to the point of you know, like wanting to do medical procedures, are are tend to be what, from what I've seen, quite usually quite beautiful or handsome to begin with. You know, yeah, it's just a body mm -hmm. image thing. You know. Yeah. Like, look at me. I'm fucking busted, but I don't care about getting surgery done because I have nothing to prove. <laughs> okay, don't, don't. I'm just being silly, guys. Don't be okay. so serious. Not every. You guys don't need to chat uh, type. Ethan, you're gorgeous. You're hot. 
don't type that. Because <laughs> I don't want to see it. Fishing for compliments. All right, go ahead, Matt. Jesus Christ, we're trying to watch this. She turned me down and talked and spit. Look, you're mixed. I want to be black. Let's make a lifestyle now. Spit that water out so I can get your number, please. I, I didn't touch you. If you could have seen my face when Matt touched. Is this guy a YouTuber? I don't, I don't know. Her face. I recognize him. Yeah. He, I know Wild and Out has had some YouTubers oh. join the cast, so he may be one of them. Let me look. Yes, I recognize he is, him. Yeah. thought their standards were higher than that. Thank you. It was, it was over. I'm like, Matt, uh-uh. You're not about to do that. That girl got a job on the Disney Channel. <laughs> First of all, ask for it by looking me straight in my soul. Okay? Just because I caress a woman's face, everybody's going to freak out. What happened to his accent? That's what I want to know. He sounds the same. You think he sounds the same? Yeah, I think so, pretty much. Mm. But what do you guys think about the face touching uh, controversy? Spit that water out so I can get your number. Please. I mean, that, that, that's that's pretty wild. Yeah. To, and also, like, first of all, she's he, got he's makeup out. on. <laughs> she's done up. You can't. And then also, you don't even know her. I mean, yeah. there's just so pretty much forward, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And just positioning she's sitting down he's standing up it's just weird yeah that's super weird that was should this be against the rules was she dating tom holland at the time because my boy will fucking murder matt you okay. this was a long time ago right tom holland now that's a stud bro you seen him shirtless damn take a like a take a bite off of that is that spider-man yeah right they've been damn. they date damn right are yeah. you late to that They've been they've been they've been together for years, Dan. They I think they even bought a house together, dude. Oh yeah? Yes. Yeah. It's Why true are you love. saying it like that? <laughs> because I can't believe that you're just behind on this tremendous cultural. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did know that. I, I don't, yeah, I don't, sorry. If, oh. if you want to learn more, Dan, there's a great podcast episode. Jay Shetty interviewed him. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Shetty got him? Of course Shetty got him. He's the goat. Who's Shetty's manager? That's all I even want to know. Because that guy's making magic happen. Uh, God. <laughs> Who else does he answer to? Am I right? Right. God's like, I command you to buy this five thousand dollar Gucci sweater. God did. <laughs> Just like in the commandments. Yeah, God. Yes. What's the best for his chosen son? I didn't think I'll put him back. Well, is there? I don't think. Yeah, I mean, he is wandering everywhere. Oh, don't get in trouble, Ducky. He's Come definitely. On over here, bud. So curious about everything. What's this? What's this? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything visible. Uh, yeah. After I mean, what happened with Shredder, we're just so freaking paranoid about everything. Yeah, I feel you. It sucks feeling that way. Yeah. <sighs> if you could have seen my right, we face. We saw it. So, anyway, uh, L. Matt Rife. Got it. L. Rife. Um, what else we got? We got Mr. Beastie's nuts lawsuit. Sheesh. We got oh, we got to do the bingo one or the the end of the year predictions. Let's do that next. <clears throat> I got to pee first though. Okay. I do too. Can we go to the same time? Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. We have. All right. Okay. Um, our, uh, channel is still missing with all of the donations, so, uh, let me see if I can just... Oh, wait, I still have my, uh, my spreadsheet. The super chat Fuck log. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Dog cam. Doggy. She's, he's crying a little Give me the bit. doggy cam. Let's see that ducky. Ducky! Oh, no, I'm gonna give him some attention. Oh, God. Dang He's it. crying. I wish you guys. Oh. Oh. oh, it's okay, Ducky. You're doing good. All right, okay. let's see here. Cam is coming to the rescue. Thank God. He's so uh, happy. Somebody donated ten pounds and said Brit here just got off a ten-hour flight for the live show on Sunday. Are you guys excited? Peace and love. Yeah, we're excited. And wow, yeah. that's uh, that's probably the furthest I've seen so far of somebody coming out for the live show. Get that off of there. I saw that Ian. Um, well, that's cool. Uh, somebody else donated and said, I stopped by Ann's Sons today, and they gave me a free hat for buying the H3 Jelly No Jelly set. Nice. 
They're so happy to be the H3 official chocolate. Well, okay, we maybe need to step back from the official thing. There is no official relationship here. We This is a casual exchange uh, going on. But, uh, but yes, um, shout out to Jeff slash Mark over at Anson's. Um, he's got to be trolling with the lip smacking, right? I'm assuming they're talking about Ethan there. Um, no, that's just the way he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Tyra donated $2 and said, it was Mr. Beast. Any uh, guesses on what that was in reference to? Nah. Sometimes these pass by and you lose all context. Well, thank you for the $2, Tyra. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, this is a question about Teddy Fresh, and uh, Ela's not here, so I'm going to skip that one for now. She's coming oh, she's back. back. Uh, is there any possibility of Teddy Fresh temporary tattoos? There are companies that professionally make them for adult consumers. Brand okay. partnership, eye emoji. Okay. It's an interesting idea. Yeah, that sounds cool. What uh, kind of stuff would you want in the tattoos? I mean, if they... Like cool graphics? Even just the uh, the Tay Fresh logo being included with every order yeah. or something, a little thing would be a fun little bonus or something. Yeah. Uh, somebody said Matt Reif looks like Dennis from Always Sunny. Well, apparently they have the <laughs> same personality too. <laughs> uh, Laura says, "Dan, I'm trying to buy Allie's art, but I can't find it. Uh, she's on, um, she's on Etsy, or uh, I mean, she's all over the place. Where can I find her? I, her Etsy. I linked it the other day. It's Allison McKenzie Art. Here, I'll I'll throw it in the chat for anybody who's looking for that. Real quick, Mr. Uh, people are saying Mr. Beast because we're saying who's Mr." They're saying MRs from Mr. Beast. Sure, that, su that super chat, you didn't know what they were referring okay. to. Yeah. I love that. And yes, Allie's awesome. <laughs> uh, right, here's, let's do like this. Um, let's do like this. Let's go through the predictions. Okay. And then we'll see who, uh, who per got it right. And then we'll just keep score. And that's how we usually do this, right? I, I guess. Well, it's, <laughs> I'm so confused by this. We have bingo cards. Yeah, it's bingo. It's not. We didn't bet on it. It's just randomized. Yeah. So I don't understand why you would give me a bit. Like, why would not? Why wouldn't you just keep it in the office? Why would mm -hmm. you want me to bring it home? I don't think I ever took mine. I don't even know. Well, I, I don't know what you did no with your clue. bingo card. I kept mine for the whole year. This wow. has not left my pocket for the mm -hmm. past year. That can't be true. But, like, do you understand the okay. problem? You can't let me keep it if you want to actually have it at the end of the year. <laughs> and Ethan's Like, I have no fucking yes, clue. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, in retrospect, maybe that wasn't the best idea. But, you um, know, just, just gather them. Thank you. Just <laughs> gather them in one place and then bust them out. Right, you? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't know that we needed to save it, so I don't. It was never even on my radar. I mean, I, I, it was explicitly oh. stated, but like oh, the what? minute the show ended, I just fucking probably <laughs> it was gone. Crumbled it up. I don't even remember. Well, it's okay. Without I mean, we, thinking of it, we, not on purpose. So I'll tell you what: we have the list of all of the predictions. <coughs> we can just go through them, yeah. and just those of us who are responsible enough to keep our bingo cards, we can see if we got a bingo. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. Um, what our what our uh, topics were? Mm -hmm. So number one, love moves to USA. Got him. W. Love who's not here, but w. that that's actually so cool. I wasn't sure if this one yeah. was gonna happen. You know, at the beginning of the year, it seemed like almost like a pipe dream. Yeah, I had yeah. that one on my cards. That was oh. pretty. I think. I wonder if that was before the time we Thank really you. started getting serious about the visa. Probably, right? I think it was. Right. It must have been because I was I like, it, it was no in the way. air, but uh, yeah, we were trying. But thank I, you so much. I, at that time, certainly I feel wasn't like, guaranteed at no. that point. Yeah. No, that was before the revolution. Well, you made it. I did. I made it. I made it. Ethan gets below two hundred pounds, and Dan has put mayo on his dome. Oh. Wow! Check. Oh. That, that happened. Check, 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 and I have wow. that one on my card as well. Let's fucking go. Wow. Mm. Hassan and Ethan kiss. Oh. Yeah, don't think that one happened. 
That yeah. never happened. Mm -mm. Uh, there was a simulated kiss at some point, was there not? Right. There was, but that didn't count. Well, because the, of the grin. It hair. had to be lip to lip. No. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. rip. Fuck, man. Because <laughs> I did have that one on my card, too. Mm. The simulated doesn't count. How was that? How was no that way. Cool? No what? way. Yeah, it's, it's an a, edited kiss. It's not. It doesn't really count. No. It has to be All right, real fine. life. Ethan hikes with Philly D. <laughs> oh. We all knew that one. That will never happen. <laughs> Ethan is sued again. That Wait, you skipped one. Oh, the podcast gets another strike. Didn't get it, which I guess is bad for bingo, but it's good for us. Button. Dude, that now. That's a pretty cool accomplishment. Yeah. I gotta say, a whole year without being reprimanded by YouTube, pretty good for a grown that's, ass man. That's the power of the mm -hmm. button, baby. Have, have you guys ever gone a whole year in the past? You know, um, I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think so. Okay. Not since yeah. I've been here until. Um, oh it was God. really just like, last year that it. <laughs> what was it last? It was the 2022. Year we had, yeah. Where we got like multiple strikes. 21, you got strikes too. Did we? The Keemstar I, thing. Yeah. That shit was all like such bullshit. The, that the one last was year. very bullshit. And then at the end of the year, we got a bullshit strike. For, there was, uh, yeah. An old video. Okay, never mind. We got a lot of strikes. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> but, but not, not this year. since the button. Mm. <laughs> oh, Ducky, it's okay, buddy. All right, Ducky. He wants duck. to play with Alfredo. <laughs> 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 Look at this guy. Ducky. Oh. You don't want to let him out? You guys should wait until after you eat. Him. Yeah. Like, huh. Alright, just wait till we're done, Duck. Duck. Um. Ethan is sued again? I don't believe that happened. Mm -mm. So I was really trying to think on that one. No? No? Not this year? Mm -mm. That was all last year. Or the year before, I guess. It's been going on so long, so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't believe I there was no new lawsuits, no. Well, I had that one on my cards. So <laughs> bummer. Which is also very good news for me. Yep. Yeah, I suppose so. I guess. Is it bows though? I mean, I'm trying to get a bingo here, buddy. <laughs> AB wins his creator clash fight. Oh, AB. get fucked. I didn't have that on my card. I could have <laughs> easily won that, but <laughs> not on my card. So sorry, guys. Oh, so L. you didn't have you didn't have motivation. L. Yeah. Because it wasn't on there. Oh wow. That's crazy that that was this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was. Wait, what month was that in? That was April. April, yeah. Fuck. Wow. Dan uses the live delay switch and saves the podcast. I mean, definitely has happened. Yeah, that, that's a that's like obvious. Fuck yeah. I guess we had we hadn't really used it that much by then. Uh, I don't think we. I think we had just set it up right at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I so. didn't think we understood how frequently we would we would be using it. <laughs> Cause that's obvious. Yeah. Ethan and Trisha make up. That did not happen. No. Nope. Ah, uh, bummer. Had that one. <laughs> Dobrik's pizza shuts down. Far from. No, it's oh. thriving. Mm -hmm. People love Dobrik's pizza. Yep. Yeah. Ninja apologizes to Pokemon. <laughs> that's a weird one. What? Nope. <laughs> nope. nope. Love says nope. Nope. <laughs> Thank you for that. Who's chewing? Would you like me to continue while you chew? I got this. Let's okay. see. The crew will attend Gabe's next birthday party. Sadly, that oh, did not no. happen. I thought that was going to be chewing this year. <laughs> oh, my God. Me, too. Why don't you switch yourself there, Ian? I have tons of excuses. I don't know what you guys have. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> get I didn't even know anything. I was wasn't happening. invited until the day before, and again, as we discussed the last time when everybody got mad at me for not going, I never, I didn't RSVP. Mm -hmm. I, had, I was busy that night. Mm -hmm. I was no. Why am I like? I didn't say I was gonna go and then flake. Mm -hmm. You know I mean, what I mean? People got really mad at us for that, and I gotta say, they told us the day before. Not only that, but also the party was. Started at like it started at midnight. Or something. 11. No, it was midnight. midnight. The party started at midnight. Yeah. Oh, uh, like, that's hard. That, that's pretty extreme. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, I was trying to go with my dad until we realized it was it started so late. Uh, <laughs> what kind of party starts at midnight? What does that even mean? I don't know. I was genuinely excited. <laughs> what are they excited. trying to prove? Yeah, I, don't, I was genuinely excited to go there with my it's dad. It's because it was after their show. Nick right. Nick had a show and then it was after. Could have done a different day. <laughs> but okay. We love Gabe. We did not attend his mm -hmm. birthday party though. I have really good excuses. <laughs> I was in a different state. Mm -hmm. I have kids. Mm -hmm. Busy. <clears throat> Dogs. It's late. <laughs> I'm lazy. That was one under. Um. AB throws up at least once. I think that happened. Definitely. Literally, yeah, definitely. literally <laughs> threw up this morning. What? <laughs> Why? God. Uh. Means I, I got the rental truck for the live show, and then um, I when I got here, Sam was saying that the couches were ready, so we went to go pick them up. Me and Sam, and the guy there would not help us, so me and Sam had to lift the couches and put them in. So, anyways, loading up the truck, and then I like needed to rush here, and I ran up the stairs, I think, too fast, and it was just too much, and what? my bitch ass puked. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, you have puked on the show too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Thanksgiving. During the laugh, you lose, you puke. That yeah. Mm -hmm. The spicy chip, was that this year? Um, yes. So yeah, then you puked during that as well. My no, that was last year when AB threw it. Was it? Yeah. We revisited the spicy chip with uh, Love. Right, because there was an updated Lena. one. The spicy chip was last year? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that makes sense. I just finished the... Uh, End of the year video. This show up. is fucking like destroying my time, my sense of time. <laughs> yeah. And then not in a good way, because like, <clears throat> I'm just gonna fucking, my whole life, my whole beautiful life, everything, every moment, every day, it's just gonna disappear, dude. <laughs> One day, it's just gonna be like 10 years from now, and I'll be like, what happened, dude? What happened? But I couldn't be happier to be here with you guys. <laughs> it was September 12th, 2022. Wow. There you go. Do you know what I mean though? Like, I feel like the past five years have passed really fast. Um, yes, but also when you look back, it's like a lot happened too. Hmm. Where were we five years ago? No kids. No kids. Which is like, to me, another lifetime. That's true. No kids is crazy. Mm -hmm. Old studio. Old Pre COVID. Mm -hmm. Pre COVID. Pre COVID. Yeah, that's a long <laughs> time. That is a long time. Um, podcast gets news coverage. Oh. Did that happen? That may have happened. Yeah. With maybe with the happened. debates or something. Yeah. Yeah. What coverage did we get? New time. Alfredo, Are you looking it up, Dan? You. He wants to play with you. Uh, let's see. Oh, did you even see this? There's an article about your Cav Cav lawsuit from October of this year. No, but that counts. The title is really funny. Jake Paul fight lasted 119 seconds. H3 podcast copyright battle hits 124 weeks. Mm, somebody's counting. Your, your losses with Cap Cap. Wait, hold on. Pull that up. I want to read I've been that. more weeks than the number of seconds of the actual fight. Here, I just sent it to you. Torrent freak. Shout out to the fine Shout journalist the over there. Freak, dude. I'm actually really curious about this. What is this? In April 2021, Jake Paul knocked out Ben Askren in less than two minutes. Shortly after, popular H3 podcast declared the fight a disaster, showed a clip of the fight to back up their claim. After being sued by Triller for $50 million in damages, H3 opted for a fair use defense. Now it's 124 weeks over a short clip of a fight that lasted 119 seconds. The law should, should be compulsory reading for YouTubers. Bro, I cannot agree enough. Like, this lawsuit is one of the dumbest fucking things you can ever imagine. <clears throat> like, one other person... They charged for copyright theft. He did not respond to the uh, complaint because he's just some random dude. 
And the judge ordered him to pay like just basically the, the pay-per-view amount, like, like nothing, like negligible amount. Mm -hmm. And we showed even less <laughs> on an unlisted link. Crazy. And like, even if, <laughs> it's insane. It's so fucking dumb, man. In our brave new world where millions of ordinary people are copyright holders of, <laughs> that's true, of snaps they publish to social media or videos they upload to YouTube, awareness of copyright law is at an all-time high. Evidence is found on Reddit where users of our copyright and similar subs answering questions, can I print a t-shirt with Batman on the front? Definitely not. Let me answer that for you. No. <laughs> can I steal a highly popularized... One of the most recognizable yeah. characters in the world? Yeah, probably not. You know what blew my mind that I learned about copyright? The smiley face. Right. It's a massive fucking company. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they like are... S yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, today, I right? learned that from Forrest Gump, I was just gonna say. <laughs> really? I yeah. didn't think it was real though. Huh. Yeah, me neither. I didn't I thought it was just that. a gag. Right. How do you copy, how do you build, how do you own a smiley face? Two dots in a line. Box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. Is it specifically on a yellow smiley face no. though? No. No. All that smiley face? Like, they could probably sue Dream, honestly, if they wanted to. I'm surprised <laughs> they haven't. Well, his is... It's a little, like, distort... It's not really, like, the normal, mm -hmm. iconic smiley face, right? I'm saying, but, but, like, their copyright is super broad. Like, let me see. Smiley face. Smiley company. That's what it is. Anything like this, it doesn't even have to be yellow. They fucking own. Crazy. All this shit. How do you invent a smiley face? That's do you think they have a shit. licensing deal for emojis? Yeah, I mean, the, probably the standard smile emoji is basically that. Yeah. They probably had to license it. Mm -hmm. Dead serious. Huh. Yeah. Anyway. Weird. Um, similar gems are uh, a regular occurrence on YouTube who hasn't seen copies of well-known blah, blah, blah. Let's see if there's anything interesting Ducky's here. trying to play with Alfredo. Is he not having it? No. Alfredo, be nice. He wants to just play. Ducky is, dip. oh my god, Ducky is so sweet, he's so unfazed. I'm sorry, Ducky. I don't know why he's such no. a small. Oh no. Oh, he's trying to chew? Is that what's happening? Maybe. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, Ducky wants to chew. I think they're... I think that's his, no? Yeah, but let's get him, hold on, Ducky, hold on. <laughs> Ducky, hold on. <laughs> I think it's mostly about playing though, I don't think it's the chew. <laughs> Tony in the chat said, sent HG podcast Dan proof of Gabe's birthday mishap. Alfredo, you want this? Is huh? you a trade? Y'all are doing too much. You know what I mean? Y'all just, trade? sometimes you just, you're a little much. It really wasn't a big deal. There, you got your own chew now. <laughs> now, now they're chewing together. <laughs> cute. Yes, so cute. Puppies are like the best thing ever, aren't they? Yeah. So hot, like the hat. It's ducky, it's there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, where were we? Uh, uh, let's, uh, we should get back to the, the bingo cards because we have a lot more of these to get through. He's, he's honoring our win in 2017, 124 weeks of litigation and counting. <sighs> Does a URL in a video infringement co does a URL in a video infringe copyright? Yeah, that's that's the big dumb fucking question at the center of this because the URL was visible. Mm -hmm. They're suing us for 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 rebroadcasting to our pr unlisted channel. All right. So like e again, even if we're found guilty, it's got like seventy views on it. The majority of them from fucking Keemstar and uh, <laughs> posting a link to the URL. Right. So who <laughs> if, really broadcast If that, that didn't happen, there'd probably be like two to four views on it. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Thank you to, uh, we love you. I, I, I don't have time to read your thing, but we love you. It seems like a good write-up, though. Yeah. Has so anyways, podcast Ethan gets news coverage. That's a, that's a yes, right? I can get that yeah, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah. Excellent. Hassan Ethan debate a major conservative. That almost happened. Uh, it almost oh, yeah. did. Very close. Fuck. 
And I have that one too. Well, oh yeah, not together. In fact, that, Vivek. did that block my bingo? With vi with vivid. Oh. Viv vivid. Vivek. 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 Like cake. He's right there. <laughs> um, Zach shits himself. Did not, <laughs> did not happen this year. Good this year, year for Zach shitting himself. <laughs> Yeah. Kim and Ethan squashed the beef. Who added that? That's crazy. What the hell? That's like a hell when hell freezes over type of thing. <laughs> Ela gets pregnant again? That's oh. Hey. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's I nice got that one. one. Wow. 2.7 million subscribers? Wait. Or is that up or down? <laughs> That's down. Oh, so we, so we, we, we had both ends of it. And really, we mm. pretty much maintain the exact same amount of subscribers. Which so. I'm happy. 2.7 million. So neither happened. Maybe. That'd, that'd be brutal, man. <laughs> Is this all trash? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Prince Charles in a box like Lizzie? Nah. Nope. He's still going. <laughs> Joe Biden afterlife? <laughs> nope. No. Nope. Still going. Kanye Ethan crossover? What the oh. fuck is that? Nope. Didn't like happen. some sort of like interaction. I think yeah. the idea was because he had already started his I'm a neo Nazi. He arc, was getting right? close yeah, to us. Yeah. Right. Orbit and so worse. it felt like it might have happened at some point, but no. <laughs> he seems to have chilled he, out. He's like that. back this last week. Oh, just just yeah. last night, dude. Just like, last night? Just last night. He was supposed to release an album today, actually. <laughs> and let me guess, it didn't come out. No, he was recording stuff at like four in the morning. <laughs> huh. Um that's the weirdest Tweeting thing. at Nicki Minaj. Yeah. He's, full, what's he's that, fully. What's that back. old saying about the definition of insanity again? <coughs> Keep trying the same thing. Same thing. Get off Twitter. Getting different results. Don't really no, like that, that saying. Yeah. Mm. I never really found it to be. It's like that's not the definition of insanity. I know it's just a like there's a expression. lot more to it than that. Doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, and expecting different results. Yeah, it's it's just an idiom. That's persistence, baby. <laughs> that, well, it is. But in the of, case of being extent. a Kanye mm -hmm. fan, uh, <laughs> it kind of does apply, doesn't it? In a like yeah. the 20th time that he's done exactly the same. I mean, thing. I'm out. I'm in it for the spectacle at this point. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Pete <laughs> Just David. Just last night, actually, he was hosting a, a rave in uh, Las Vegas for $2,000 to get in. Ew. But it got shut down because they didn't have permits. <laughs> what? Oh, my Fuck, God. Such yeah. a moron. Ugh, so uh. dumb. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. Why? Because you're a mod? Yeah. You want to lose your status? <laughs> <laughs> Pete Davidson gets married. That did not happen. <laughs> no. Drake faces a major cancellation that did not happen. No. Significant el evidence of alien life is discovered. That Got it. Did not happen. Oh, definitely. Unless happened. you include no. that Mexico. Yeah. Thing. You don't hey, remember the Mexican alien? <laughs> oh, that's true. I forgot. That you're right. That did happen. Yeah. There it is. There it is, baby. <laughs> we confirm. Oh my god. I'm marking it. That's significant evidence to me. <laughs> what about that TikTok video too of like the backyard. Remember the backyard video? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, actually, yeah, shit. There's been really compelling evidence this <laughs> year. <laughs> Did they blur its genitals? What's that red line? No, they're <laughs> scanning it. And like, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tesla completely tanks. Did not happen. Mm. Ethan makes another bomb threat. Did not happen. Nope. Thank you. Wendy Williams' nope. comeback. Did not mm -hmm. happen. No. No. Still waiting. Sad. Still waiting. H3 Permaband? Jesus. No. We wouldn't even be able to do the show if that happened. Well, I think we define that as being permanently banned from anything. So, like, if we had had our TikTok account permanently banned, that would have counted. Or Instagram or whatever. God, we'd have to really fuck up to get perma banned. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. Well, you did get banned. Well, not the podcast. I was going to say your Twitter got banned for a little bit, but you got that back. I did yeah, it would have had to have been a permanent. That's true. It almost it was true. Yeah, I thought it was the was. Twitter or the TikTok, too. He's mm -hmm. trying to go up. next to Alfredo and Alfredo walks away. He's trying to get the chew though. No, he dropped his, you see. No, he, he wants that he one. He wants that one. Yeah, he wants mm -hmm. that one. He, it, uh, Ducky doesn't understand like etiquette of <laughs> the chew <laughs> etiquette yet. I, well, I think it's Ducky's. It is his, you're right, but Alfredo... <laughs> he wasn't using it at the time. Yeah. Oh, oh we're stuck in the little wire. Good. Good. Uh, Jeff sues David Dobrik and wins. So mm. oh, why did Darn. we have to add no. that? These predictions are too specific. That's yeah. Probably. Well, he there was a settlement according to that. Was there? That lawsuit from State Farm. Oh, mm. I don't that, know. Mm. It's, it, it, it's hard to say. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> was that Alfredo? <laughs> yeah. He's, 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 warning. he's just said, back off, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard to scare me. He snapped. 
He, does he, didn't, he didn't snap. It was no, just no. a bark. It was a very. Yeah. No, that's just like back up. It was a beautiful yeah. Hey, snap. Bark. That's how. That's what he does. Yeah. It's cute how he like prances when he when he walks. He <laughs> jumps like that. Yeah, it's like a little ball. Yeah. Just, <laughs> he always runs at Alfredo around. and jumps yeah. at him. It's so cute, and Alfredo hates it. Alfredo, that. you got a little brother. Uh oh! One podcast. One of the podcast couples gets a dog. You guys. Oh, we did. You did. <laughs> I guess that counts. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Of course God. it counts. We got a dog. Yeah. <clears throat> People are saying the Tesla had it's this massive recall, which yeah, it did. But <laughs> did that just happen? That just it just ha happened right. this week, and yeah. I we were okay. talking about this morning. I'm like, oh, I bet there. their stock took a hit because like that's bad. One percent up. That's huge Ducky. for a daily gain. <laughs> Even if you go to five day, it's like year, it didn't affect year anything. to date. It's totally this shit fine. is so disconnected from reality at this point. It is crazy. Yeah, it makes no sense. How are you on the on the week that you have to recall two million vehicles, your and, stock goes up. And also, like Tesla is having a bunch of issues in Sweden and all the skin. Yeah, countries. it's just like this is. <clears throat> it's so gamified at this point. It has no real connection to the yeah. actual. I do of the think company. that they're. I might be speaking out of turn, but I believe that they've become highly profitable <laughs> in terms of the I remember, return. yeah, no, I think in so the I, last couple of years, that, they actually have been turning pretty big prof profits. But. So I think that's probably why the stock is up, because their books are just super, super clean, or healthy in that regard. There you go. It's like an easy... I think people see it. I don't know if it's one of these stocks that you get, like, uh, dividends on. I know people love that shit. You probably get a little bit of Money. dividends. Shit. Money. No money. No money. Podcast hits no three million money. subs again. That didn't happen. Mm. Sadly. No, also didn't happen. Yeah. Didn't go up. Didn't go down. Podcast gets national news coverage. We already said that. Uh, it's, so I guess it's because it's distinct from normal news coverage <coughs> versus national news so coverage. Specific. It kind of well, feels like Fox like the News same thing. kind of thing. Like right, I guess. Like yeah. K KTLA versus um, <laughs> right, yeah, Fox. <laughs> So I mean I don't I don't know that we had national no I don't think news so. coverage. We had Detroit Free Press. Just saying. Ben Shapiro talked about me. Or was, I don't know. Was that this year? Was that national? I think that was last year. Not really. Yeah. Uh, Ethan is dethroned as hairline king. I mean my hairline well, is the same as it was when the year started. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What? I know you want to say some shit. Go ahead. I'm I'm not saying anything. Go ahead. I I'm know, not. I know what you're anything. thinking. I'm not really saying it. <clears throat> All right, dude. You really think this dude? His hairline is so high up, and his mm -hmm. hair is just big. Who? I think AB said that. Yeah. It, it's an illusion. He just yeah. has big hair, mm -hmm. and that hairline is like way up there, man. That's like the North Pole of hairlines, boy. True. Inhospitable. True. Nice try. Great hair. He has Can't beautiful so, hair. Your hair is great. Can't say too much. Dude, you know. his hair is stunning. By the way, both of them do. <laughs> this one. Yeah. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> <laughs> Click it. Oh. It's just no, no. famousbirthdays.com. With his hair that long, it's about the size of <laughs> Ethan's hairline. Why is his hair so big, bro? Chill. Got big hair. Big hair, bro. Link, you don't have to make your hair so big, brother. Like, like, at a certain point, you gotta realize that you're just the big hair guy. Have I, we taken a close look at Jay Shetty's hairline? It's bullshit. He, in fact, I've seen it. He got this ridiculous cut. Watch I'm this. I'm growing my hair back, people. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. How old is Jay Shetty? How old? Yeah. He is 36. 36? He's younger than me? What a douche. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on. Where's the one with the... Look at this shit. No, not this one. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got one. Wait, did I just see one of him pulling it back? There's one of him where he shaved off the widow's peak. And it looks super silly. I, the one I have doesn't have a widow's peak. I don't know if it's the one you're... Yeah, this is it. Look at this. Bro. Bro, what are you doing with your life? Look at that. Who lined this man up? Why did they cut that? Damn. He's the double hairline king. Also, it's not cleaned up, so it looks silly. Yeah. <gasps> he probably dyes his scalp. <laughs> he would be that. He's so vain, you guys don't even know. Dyes yeah. his scalp. I mean, well, no, he, he definitely has, he has color in it right here. You think he colored it? I mean, it looks, yeah. You it's so it. vain, bro. Not, like, I just, can't say for certain, but... I think you might be right. Like, he doesn't have one single gray hair. 
And it's there's okay, just like a little bit incredible. of streaks on top, it looks like. Bro, He's you are so vain. <laughs> it's crazy. How do you look at yourself <laughs> in the morning? Like, look at you, bro. Oh, you know what? I found one with grace, so maybe, he, yeah, I think you're right. About what? I found uh, about him dying because I, I see gray hairs in one of these photos. Here, I'll send it. Bro, I can't believe you went outside like this with your with the widow's peak. I think like it looks this. great. I wouldn't I would never even notice. Me too. I mean, I mean, well, I'm it's showing just embarrassing. you. I'm showing you. I don't okay. know why would people want to cut that out. Like, what's the problem with the? I don't you, know. I agree. I don't know, but because obviously it's gonna start growing, and then you'll see. Because to pull off this hairstyle. Uh -huh. Ethan, I know I know you're showing me something, but my eyes are just locked onto his eyes. I, I can't <laughs> move up. I can't. Here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Look into oh. my eyes, Dan. Oh you will God. leave the podcast and join my crew. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck Ethan Klein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Jay Shetty, trying to steal my staff. <laughs> Scumbag. <laughs> Let's not forget. He, he probably pays like shit too. No. Yeah, he he's does. probably so mm -hmm. generous. Yes, he does. He's because isn't he friends with Darman? <laughs> I don't think. I don't. He probably doesn't take a salary. Yes. He probably does it for free. Yeah, Just I'm gives, sure. Gives every 100 of he's everything. He's friends with Darman, right? Yeah, he's he's yeah, they're dogs. Which first of all mm. is embarrassing. <laughs> Second is of all, birds of a feather. This <laughs> man pays like shit. Have fun over there. Thirty thousand a year. <laughs> <laughs> and no benefits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I can't. That is a pretty good point. I'm not gonna lie. But it, I mean, his hairline's pretty good for his age, but it's not better than mine. No, no. Yeah, I guess not. All right, so you're still the hairline king. We're we're letting you have that. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate that. <laughs> Fine. And you know, like I said, shout out Link. Shake out. Shout out Jay Shetty. But let's be real for a second. You know, look at this humble man. Then who would have thought that he would turn into this monster? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you grabbing your shoulder? He looks bro? so kind. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, he's super nice. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I take it back. I go work for him for free. <laughs> there you go. Okay, wait. There are some actual <laughs> pretty incredible contenders. I will say, I don't think anyone will beat my champion. <laughs> Nobody. Georgie? George yeah. Lucas actually is pretty stacked. He might be there. Although he's thin, he, he's combed in a way. But he, like it's this, but this is hairline though. It's hairline, and also, mm -hmm. do we not give a handicap for him being in his like late seventies? But yeah. the, okay, but if we're gonna compare, because you know what I mean. You gotta factor in the age. Look at the photo I just dropped though. Lucas. All right, age. so find him at thirty-eight. He's seventy-nine. He's almost eighty years. He old. is. Yeah. Wow. wow. He looks good for seven. Dude, Holy shit! That means we need to like prepare ourselves to lose George in the next Wait, like, decade or two. He's seventy nine. We lost him a long time ago. <laughs> easy, easy, man. <laughs> easy. Yeah, he's. No, I love George. I he's feel a bad forever for legend. His got. hairline absor absorbed his jawline. <laughs> <laughs> it took the power from one, and <laughs> gave it to the other. He has an iconic jawline. When he was young. Uh, Circle. Yeah, I mean, here, it's probably more fair to compare this. Here he is in, like, his 30s. Yeah, let me see. Oh, wow. What a fucking hunk. Dude. Wow. Looks like, yeah. It looks like you, Cam. No. Got yeah, kind of, of, actually. I wish, dude. I, my hair is... I'm, I'm going to fully say it right now. My hairline's going away, too. Brother. It's going bye-bye. Oh. It's going bye-bye. It's bye. not bad, though. It's, it's okay for Well, now, dude, bro, but... get with the red light uh, hat. <laughs> <laughs> right. How, how old are you, Cam? I'm um, 29. Yeah, I mean, mine started to go around like 20, 28, so... Bye-bye. Mm. How long did it take, Dan, from 28 to basically... Uh, well, I mean, the main thing is that, you know, it, it was receding here a decent amount, but it was mostly the, the what I call the yarmulke spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm. It, it balded back here first, mm. Mm. and that's... As that got worse and worse, that was why I was like, you know what, I should just shave it, because it's like... Yeah. Just looks stupid like that. Nice. Good for you. You rock the shave look, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. At this point, I can't. <coughs> we were talking. It's, well, 
Was it on the show we were talking about like the hair transplant thing? And I really was thinking about it. I don't think I'd do it. I kind of yeah. I feel like I'm kind of locked like into this, this is now. You, I don't you know. rock it. Yeah, I yeah. can never rock a bald head. <laughs> I did that once. And I cannot do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fortunate that my, I I don't have like a misshapen head or something. I guess President Sounds Xi like is also has a killer me. hairline. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Um, another hairline king, David Lynch. That yeah, his hair here his hair is gorgeous. Yeah. But look at the, I mean, this guy really has a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> that that, 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 that is. can't trust this guy, though. It's like so defined. It's and true. Cool. I mean, it's true. He's a communist. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Where are my man's eyebrows? He fi- hey, well, yeah, he what fixed happened the to the eyebrows? Freeway the other month, so he's, he's fine by me. He fixed the tent? Wait, I wonder yeah. if this is a wig. You, you think, think it's, it's a, a wig? hair system? Yeah. Oh. It no doesn't way. match the rest of the. <laughs> no way. It's too nice. Yeah. He would do that though. He's a fucking communist, dude. He's got no. They eyes. all put up, to They all anything. wear um hair, hair pieces? pieces. What? It's like way that. too full at the front too. It looks unnatural to me. I Vladimir think your Lenin never wore hair pieces. I think yeah, he rocked what, the because look. the technology wasn't there. He would have. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be walking around with a beautiful head of hair if he was alive today. Gorgeous. And then David Lynch, of course, we can't. Forget. Yeah, he's another king. His hair is really, truly, truly remarkably nice. Here he is, just on, just from his YouTube. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's got such That's nice hair. Nice his hair. looks almost unnatural. I... It's real though. Yeah, it is. His real. is real because he's always had that. Yeah, dude. Over the yeah. years. Yeah. I don't see what you could even do to. Up what procedure you can even do, but when you, it's pushed you, back, you see that it's not as nice as mine. You can do a hairline transplant. I mean, I'm not saying he did, but like MGK did that. This man, he just did? for the record, yeah, mm-hmm. there's old pictures of MGK like bald, for mm. sure. not bald, but like hardcore bald. widow speak. Yeah, wow, I didn't know that. Wait, but so this picture really tells a, a lot of the story, though. Let's be honest, show well. it, show it, Ian, coward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man is receding all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. It could also just be the shape. Come on. Because I think it's always been like that. Look at the other photos. Well, he's old. You got to find. Well, him I mean, young. look when when he's young. All right, young. Yeah. Like this. Well, it's covering his face. Let me see. David Lynch. Young. Let's see. <laughs> What the hell? It looks so different. <laughs> Look at this shit. What? Well, it's all combed uh, forward, yeah. so it's hard to tell. Yeah. But, I see. Here he is. This is kind of interesting photo of him. It, it's hard to tell because of the way he styles his hair. Yeah. But there's no question he's got a, he's got a great... A great head of hair there. No question about it. Top five, I think. Would never try to even take that away from him. And he's brave too, even in his old age, to be putting it back like that. Most mm-hmm. people wouldn't do that. It's just lay. They don't have the chutzpah like me to be wearing my hairline out fully, <laughs> unobstructed. <laughs> you know? I have hairline privilege. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yes, I'm still the king. Um, and finally, this last one, Puskat tries a dr- drastically different format, and it works. That has not happened. Yeah. Well, we talked about it earlier. We were saying, see you next Tuesday. If it works, that's debatable, but... Are you, are you, are you <laughs> it's not happen? drastically different. Yeah. It's pretty drastic. We have, like, a s- smooth running machine, you know, over mm-hmm. here, and then... Yeah. But, uh, okay, has it worked, though? Can we say that it's worked? People like it. Does it work? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's your call. That's in the mind. It's in the heart of the beholder. So did yeah. anyone get a bingo? Uh, no. Nope. Nope. All right, fun. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for playing, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. If All right, well, we were many, plate, many... Were you going to bingo, Dan? Listen. Uh, no. It was the Tesla not tanking that <laughs> fucked me. Uh, so fuck you, Elon Musk. Well, we were supposed to do two hours. We have not done that. We have done how long? Like over three, three hours. hours. Yeah. God damn it. I don't know why. I just, I love you guys too much. <laughs> I want to put on a fantastic, long, meaty show for you guys. 
But I can't believe it's the last show of the year here, and the next one is going to be on I Sunday Live. It. Boy, boy, boy. 2024. What 2024, the heck? Yeah. So with that being said, thank you everybody for joining us here. Hope you join us next year for another fantastic mm-hmm. year of shows, surprises, yeah. laughter, I love. Wonder, I wonder what what next year will look like. You know? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who can say? We don't know. And we shouldn't speculate. We shouldn't. Don't even try. Just don't die. That's what I was going to say. Like, well, maybe I get cancer or something. I don't know. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I might be dead for, by the end of it. I might even be here. I was just thinking Brian Johnson. I'm not. You're thinking what? Don't die like Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try my best not to die. I mean, but that's why I don't like to be like, next year is going to be this. No, you might be dead. You might not even mm-hmm. be alive, dude. Fuck. I do want to be alive, though. I want to be there. Let's put on the bingo card. Somebody dies. No, that is so fucked up. Not even that's not funny. I dude. will not allow that's that. Not funny, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. Exact. Play the. Oh, you already playing. Something. Never mind. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not funny. I'm not doing dude. it right now. All right, everybody. <sighs> See you on Sunday at 7 p.m. Yeah. Love y'all. Have a great, great weekend, and uh, we'll see you. Tuck. <laughs> <laughs>